Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, a very, very <laughs> special edition. Drum roll. Welcome to <laughs> Wednesday and welcome to the 2018 Atari Awards nominations announcements. That's right. The tension is building. The tension. That is correct, tension. Arena Foot and Thrust 26. Um, so today we're proud to announce that we will be letting everyone know who has been nominated in each of the 10 categories for the 2018 Atari Awards. Even I don't know. No. Even I don't know. There's only, who are the two people that know right now? Is myself and Brian Mathern. That's right. Who uh, is also one of the organizers, along with myself, of the 2018 Atari Awards, and also Al Yaruso from Atari Age, who is uh, uh, sponsoring this and helping out and hosting it as well on the Atari Age forums. And... Uh, I also want to thank all the people that helped do the nomination process. We had a bunch of people because they had to go through over 150 games. Oh, yeah. And play them it's all. insane. And an insane evaluate them all. Of work. So much work. So I want to thank all those people. But uh, we will get to those people. So this is Zero Page Homebrew. And this is where we play new games on classic consoles. And tonight we're honoring all the homebrew that was made in 2018. Yeah, which is a, a big deal because a lot of great games have been oh. were made and worked on and there's all kinds of categories for different people. And like, um, mm -hmm. uh, there's lots of funny things in the chat so far. Like 26 is a popular number, <laughs> which is true. And that, yeah. That, oh, uh, you're Tanya. And no, that, you're and not that, Tanya. That Tanya's has a different look. <laughs> Today, Yeah, apparently. Tanya, shift around. Yeah, well, that can be explained by <laughs> Oh, magic. We're back. Having to do a lot of stuff. Yes. This is like a, it just <laughs> became a gender-swapping uh, movie yeah. from the 80s. 183 total games. There you go, Arena Foots. Almost 200 games that these people had to go through and play and evaluate them on different criteria. Um, so today we're also going to be playing the games that were nominated for best homebrew and best Batari basic homebrew today That's after right. we talk about all the nominations. Um, I want to thank all the people that have joined us today uh, in the chat. Arena Foot, Dr. Clue, Chive574, Carl G, Impaler26, Thrust26, Dr. Clue, Nano Chess. Wow, Muddy uh, Funster. Muddy Funster, Danny VC. Uh, am I missing anybody? Deanoids. To say Dr. Clue, Jared, Jared Gray, Gray West, West. Um, and everybody who hasn't also um, typed anything as yeah, well. Yeah, who's just hanging out and watching the show. And if you're yeah. on YouTube or whatever, as watching well. after, welcome as well. Welcome. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers uh, Charles and Check, Gretams, Ground Trooper, Ice Bosta, Jeffrey2123, Johnny, WC23, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, RC70, Shazam1970, Tiki Dan K, Train Tech86. And you can support the show as well. If you have Amazon Prime, link to your Twitch Prime. And click subscribe. That's right. Uh, oh, and Peter Talk and Atari Age. Al has joined hey, us. Al. Welcome, Al. Hey, man. Uh, big supporter and sponsor of the 2018 Atari Awards. So, the nominations are in. Okay. The uh, nominee uh, nomination committee members, the people that made up the group. Secret committee. The now. secret committee. <laughs> not, no, no. not secret. We're going to let you know who they are. Very transparent. Um, they have been uh, deliberating over the past couple weeks um, of a huge list, 183 games apparently, yeah. as well as demos and hacks, homebrews, Batari basics. It's, not, it's not an easy job. No, that's a lot of games to evaluate. And uh, we picked some, um, you know, some of the top programmers, a very diverse array of people to evaluate these. What if I'm not Al? Oh, what that... if you're not Al? You are you, Al. You never know. By saying that, I know you're Al. <laughs> That's actually a good point. That's a very good point. Um, and we're finally able to release the nominations today mm -hmm. on the 23rd. And everybody will be able to vote after the show. That's right. We will give some instructions on the Atari Age forums. is where you're going to be able to vote on your favorites out of these lists. And uh, so I want to thank all the people that helped produce these lists and go, went slogged through all these games so you guys don't have to. That's right. Because we didn't want everybody to have to play 183 games. No, it's a too much. Yeah, it so truly we, is. So we narrowed it down to a nice field of 10 or more 
games in each of the categories so it makes it a lot easier for you guys to go through and these are the people that helped us uh, us out and uh, narrowing down those games and playing through them david fleming from pack rat video games who's ozyr or ozyr yeah the, the you US. know however you want to <laughs> pronounce it uh thomas yentz uh who's same name in the atari age forums uh david drees who's dave d in the atari age forums uh bj best who's bj best 60 in the atari age forums uh jeremy aka atari leaf Steve Ramirez, a.k.a. S. Ramirez 2008. Uh, Nathan Strum, who is the same name. Yeah. That makes it easy. It, Atari it, it works out. Uh, Stan, uh, a.k.a. Stan Jr. Chris Walton, a.k.a. CD-W. Uh, John Champo from Champ Games, uh, a.k.a. Right. Johnny WC. Uh, Daryl Spice Jr., uh, a.k.a. Spiceware. Uh, and Richard Ivy, aka Spindly nineteen seventy. So you probably recognize a lot of those. Definitely, names. I even I recognize yes. a lot of those people. Because, and if I know these people, then you definitely do. Yeah, because they are some of the programmers. They're also um, some of the top homebrew collectors. These people are very active in the community. So I thought these people would be a very good judge of these games and demos and hacks because they develop these games, they play these games, they understand what's going on behind the scenes in the game. Yeah, and especially when you get into some of those categories that are a little bit oh. more technical, it's like you yeah. definitely want people who have, who understand like the effort that's gone into these things. That's right, because... We just play them. But yeah, like, we see the surface, and the they result. understand it's like, oh, that's, that's difficult to do in graphics, or that's a challenging programming technique to do, so they really know what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so it's really uh, invaluable, and I want to thank these people so much for putting their time and effort over the past couple weeks to go through all these games. And I want to thank, of course, the core team of the 2018 Atari Awards, which is myself. It's kind of weird thanking myself. Well, no, it's important, yeah. and it's a lot of work that this guy's been putting yes. in. He he texted oh me last night being like, dude, this is a lot of stuff that I'm doing. A lot of work, <laughs> yes. A lot of coordinating, and it's not to sort of like martyr or anything. It's just to say like, yeah, this is this takes this some is... coordination. So it's thanks to this guy that all of this is happening, but also that this is happening right now, and that this the is... Show. The show. <laughs> and yeah. like and the awards and a lot of things, because it's, it's a lot of work, so... I, it's definitely we need well, to thank, thank James for, <laughs> for all the work that he's put in. And I want to thank, of course, uh, Brian Mathern, who is Arena Foot. Um, he is the keeper of the knowledge. He That's runs right. the most uh, the most comprehensive home Atari Age homebrew list. <laughs> yes, he is the homebrew monk who studies the scriptures, um. who understands <laughs> the lists. Um, he keeps the, uh, scribe. the, the math the, 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 the complete list. Of every Atari Age homebrew that comes out, he records information about where, uh, where it was posted, version numbers, who's it made by, the, who's the graphics done by, and he also makes, uh, puts out the Atari Age, Atari Twenty Six Hundred Homebrew Companion Book series, and I think he's uh, he's released three books now, and he's working on the fourth book. Oh man, now. that's so prolific. He's, he's a machine. And I want to thank Al Yeruso, Albert Yeruso from Atari Age as right. well, uh, for being instrumental in hosting all of this on the forums and being able for us to to be a, to promote it through the forums. It's just key and to everything that's going exactly. on. Exactly, and of course, just being Atari Age and being Albert Yeruso. And, putting out a lot of these games as a distributor as Absolutely. well um like putting out these high quality games and giving them a home um for discussion and uh, a high quality home for uh sales of a lot of these games and in the era of 2019 oh, in the yeah. internet it's like distribution is the bottleneck of so many things that's it's, right and, and and to be able to get a physical cartridge something that you can that's act, exciting this is also what this whole thing is about man is like being able to put your, your cartridge into your atari that's and right. be able to play a game and and as a filmmaker you and i it's like going to a theater seeing your film on the big screen and everybody else sitting in the seats and be able to see it at the same time. It's, it's that experience. experience of of other people enjoying what you have done. And uh, oh, Atari Age is building games right now. That's right. He's a machine. He's working. And so he's putting together games while we're announcing games. Um, so I'm going to go through all the the nominees now. And if there are any mistakes, I do apologize. 
Um, in terms be. of in terms of naming and attributions of who did what, I think we're hundred percent. But if there are any mistakes, um, please let us know so we can correct it. Um, because oh, we yeah. definitely want to give credit. And I'm so sorry to... if it's you that's <laughs> yes, the mistake. That's this right. is, is always, my name's Erilyn, so whenever there was uh, like a mistakes. reading or something, they'd be like, we'd like to let, uh, thank um, Earl to the stage. Like it's always Erlane, Arlene. So I know what it feels like to, <laughs> yeah. to have mistakes with your Spelling name. Spelling mistakes or even totally missing out on crediting you. Um, so just contact me on the Atari Age forums or you can email me. Uh, my name's Sumerian. I wish it was not Sumerian, but <laughs> it's I wish a it was, badass wish name. It was, though, that's great. I wish it was zero page, but it was before I registered a long time ago. Before I did, you might be show. able to switch that around, but that's Maybe. a different I'll conversation. I'll have to talk to Al about that. Um, so let's take a look at the oh, nominations. Let's switch over to that. So it's time for the nominations. Ooh. And uh, there are a lot to go through. Dude, Al said that might be able to be done. Anyway, oh, sorry, I don't want to distract. Thank you, Al. <laughs> I am looking forward to changing my name because it means nothing <laughs> to anybody outside of that. It, it, it's just more succinct. Um, so I want to go through some terminology so people understand. Oh, my God, the cats, the cats are going are crazy. cats are losing their minds upstairs. <laughs> um, How many so, check are you? No, 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 okay. they're fine. It's just cool. being silly. Um, so everybody understands um, how... The games were nominated and the process we went through so that nobody's confused about why these games were picked <laughs> um so the games that we picked um can have to be able to be run in an atari vcs or uh compatible hardware or an emulator because there was one that got us confused that looked like an atari game but it was actually a pc game made to look like an atari game yeah and we but we got that out there's um, always one of those in everything in life. Yeah, that sneaks, sneaks in <laughs> just, under the radar. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, and we defined the year, uh, the 2018 awards, because it's for last year. Um, so we define the year as obviously January 1st, you know, stroke of midnight, 0000, yep. 2018. Got to make the cutoff somewhere. Yep, so we chose the beginning to the end. Make it easy. Dis uh, to December 31st, 2018, 235959, Pacific time. There we go. Because that's where I live, so, you know. Whatever. Sorry. You, <laughs> Sorry. Gotta, you gotta pick some date. Gotta, yeah, I could have picked GMT, but it's just less confusing for me. Um, we These games, f to define completed, what a completed game is, and I had to go through a lot to figure out these definitions, but it has to be defined in some way. And a completed game is either released on a physical format, like a cartridge, that is complete. Like, it's done. Yeah. It's stamped, printed, out the door, or released digitally and declared finished. There like, if know. somebody says, here's the ROM, I'm done. And yeah, it's hard it because is. you can always keep oh tinkering, right? So the, in there is the nightmare. And you could say it's done and yeah. it's not done. And but my, what... my film <laughs> is, is in, the, in film festivals right now. We just cut out, like, five minutes out of it about a month ago and so there's there's it always happens. little tweaks you want to make it keeps to it. going it's when uh, you decide to stop yes exactly and so when it's declared done it's done work in progress uh, is de is defined as a game that's not been released on cartridge and also not been declared finished so yeah still working on it um it it may be like oh it's done it was a year ago since you've updated still not uh, announced done on one game <laughs> <laughs> uh, ha a hack is a game made using another game's code and has altered that game's graphics, sound, or code. So there it's, we go. It's 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 base is another game, and you've been made alterations. Oh, uh, Nathan, this is the nomination. Yeah, there's no dancers or musical numbers. This is just the nomination announcements. So <laughs> the cats won't be dancing, and there's no tuxes. We, we'll There's be no dressed. twerking from me. That's no, for the award show. That's right. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we'll be, we will be dressed up very nicely for the actual award show, which is on February 23rd. Uh, a demo <laughs> is defined as a software that is non-interactive. It just plays. You turn it on and it plays. And usually created to demonstrate the sound and video availabilities of the hardware. Um, and it can be minimally interactive. Like you press a button to continue, but it's not a game. It's no score. There's no moving characters. Um, okay, so let's get on 
I know you've all been waiting. Very patient. Had to go through all the preamble. I, I did it's have to define some stuff. things. Um, so we'll start with the Technical Achievement Awards. The nomination, the nominees for the Techno Achievement Awards, um, and these are uh, nom nominations are based on innovations that push the boundaries of the Atari v VCS compatible hardware or software that debuted during the year. The technical achievement must have been demonstrated in a public available video, released hardware, or completed game, work in progress game, demo, or hack. Technical achievements debuted in a previous year are not eligible. So uh, there are seven nominations uh, for Technical Achievement Award. Aardvark by Thomas Yentz for alternate, al alterna alternating, why am I having trouble with that? Alternating play field priority to create a transparency effect. The sun or moon shining through the clouds. A... So if you take a look at Aardvark and look at the sun and the moon as they rise in the sky through the clouds, it's not flickering. It is alternating the play field priority back and forth. Wow. It's, it's, it's quite it's impressive. A it's a beautiful game just it from is. just from like the layman's perspective over here. Yes. Um, uh, another nomination for Aardvark um, by Thomas Yentz. Uh, this part is done by Thomas Yentz. Uh, the 32 sp pixel sprite that smoothly enters, traverses, and exits the length of the color changing play field, both single line, without using H move blanks, W syncs, or using extra sprite data. Now that's the Aardvark, the massive Aardvark moving across the screen. Uh, oh, thank you, Arena Foot, for pa so posting much. these. That's and, excellent. And, and this is one of these, also, these beautiful things about design. Thrust brought it up. It's very simple, though, that on, often the simplest things are the most elegant and beautiful. It's, That's right. It's such an interesting... And making it look simple. Exactly. Yes. When you watch a professional do something... Like a like a like a world class person, it, it appears effortless. It's but, like, but they've been working on it, working their craft for decades, and working right. tens of thousands of hours, making it look simple. So, like the simplicity, there's a there's a lot of beauty in that. Uh, the uh, next one is Gray Screen with no music. That's the name name of the thing. Mm -hmm. uh, by Chop Chop Topin Topin oh, hold on. T J O P P E N. Chopin for Chopin, the yeah. for the sixteen byte. It, this game is made in this game. This demo is made in sixteen bytes. It is one of the smallest demos ever made. Wow! Just sixteen bytes. It's amazing. <laughs> uh, Maximal minimal demo. I'm glad I don't have to pronounce his <laughs> name. Funny. Yeah. Uh, the next one is Hard Two Six Three Two by Imp and Svaali. Uh, Thirty two byte hardware dip switch demo implementation. So these guys made a piece of hardware that is programmed through dip switches, completely wow. through dip switches. This massive board that you physically can plug into the Atari 2600. It is amazing. Short O, the Svali. Svali? Okay, next one is uh, Mappy by Thomas Yentz. Makes sense. Another nomination for Thomas Yentz uh, for the code. Uh, uh, and Nathan Strum for the graphics. The 85 pixel multicolor title screen from Mappy. It's quite impressive. It's huge. And multicolor uh, across horizontally, which is very difficult to do uh, accurately. Um, and the last one for technical achievement is Mappy by John Champeau uh, for code. Player. Oh, two more left. Sorry. Mappy by John Champeau. Player and enemy anti flicker code, which is unbelievable in Mappy. There are so many characters on one line. In Mappy, all the cats chasing the your yeah. mouse. It doesn't feel like this is. It does. It, it feels like it's something completely. Like it's not an Atari yeah. game. It's. It's the, the <laughs> it's, achievement in it is it's huge. unreal. And the last one for technical achievement is Studio Twenty Six Hundred by Norbert Landsteiner, aka No Land, for his Twenty Six Hundred audio demo software, where you can play all the sounds that you can make from a Twenty Six Hundred, which is insanely useful. Yes, very very useful for testing. Uh, the next, oh, terribly, sorry. I have not been changing. That's okay. One second. Yeah. Because I have all these titles on the screen. There we go. There's, oh, no, 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 wrong one. There we go. Technical Achievement Awards. So you get to see it for a second. Yeah, ooh. 
Next one is the awards for best uh, nominations, not awards, for best demo. Uh, this is any demo completed during the year. Uh, minimal inputs such as choosing an, a menu option to move over to the next part of the demo will be allowed. Uh, so best demo, there are 10 nominations. Acid Rain by Jeremiah and No One. Alpha Cucks by Dentifrice. Compo Filler by Goblinish. Dengu Fever by Digital Sound Systems, Digital Sounds System <laughs> and Flush. Hard 2632 by Imp and Zvali. Because along with that hardware thing that they made with all the dip switches, there's actually a pre-programmed demo in there wow. as well. So you get two in one. Uh, Lapin Kulta by Dentifrice. M by Flush. Mushroom Adventure by Satori. And Stella Atois by Flush. And Three Minus by Altair. And these are all in alphabetical order. Yeah, so that there's so no kind of there's, delineation. There's no, no like, oh, this person's better. Because that's for you to decide. That's right. That's just not that's our to place to after. go. Yeah, who's better and who's not. We don't want to imply any of that. Next category is best hack. Uh, there's 16, actually, in this wow. category. So a lot. Uh, active Shooter, ter a turmoil hack by James Catalano, a.k.a. Jamcat Reloaded. ALF, Taz Hack, by Scott Dayton, a.k.a. Neo Tokyo 2001, of Neo Games, and James Catalano, a.k.a. Jamcat Reloaded. Batman, Popeye Hack, by James Catalano, a.k.a. Jamcat Reloaded. Berserk Neo Version 2, Berserk Hack, by Scott Dayton. Broadside, a combat hack, by Claudio Salvucci, a.k.a. CDS Games. Dawn of the Dead, Worm War 1 hack, by Scott Dayton. Extinction, Demon Attack hat, by Scott Dayton. <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot of hacks. <laughs> Ketchup Kaboom, Kaboom hack, by Scott Dayton. Minor 2049er Faster, a Minor 2049er hack, by Thomas Yentz, who did the speed up hack for that. Omega Matrix, who did the reset bug fix for that. And Dr. Clue, who did the sprite hack. Misadventure, an adventure hack by Alan W. Smith. Moon Patrol, arcade DC version, a Moon Patrol Plus hack by Dr. Clue. Cubert Jump, amoeba jump hack by Scott Dayton. Santa Hero ET, a hero hack by Scott Dayton. Stargate Desert Raid. <laughs> Rivered Raid Hack by Dev K and Whip. Stranger Things, Barb's Revenge. A Dig Dug Hack by Keebs. Uh, UFO Gal uh, Galaxian, a Galaxian Hack by James Catalano, aka Jamcat Reloaded. Uh, no, the Trackball Hacks uh, are old hacks. They were released, um, I think, tw tw 2017 or earlier. Some of them date back to 2002. So they're, they're a little bit older. So they were, unfortunately... Not in the year of 2000. But hopefully we see some more trackball games because those are so much fun. Oh, yeah. It's, so, it's such a great thing to pull out. It's such a unique experience. So hopefully somebody out there wants to make some for, in uh, 2019. Because there's plenty of games that can use trackball. And I think that's one of the more special things that the Atari oh, yeah. can do. Yeah, it's very unique. Very few systems can utilize the trackball. Uh, Stott Dayton is Neo Tokyo 2001. Oh, is there a misspelling? I apologize. Now for the best work in progress. Ooh. Okay, this was a huge field with tons of amazing games. Um, so, Challenging choices. Oh my god, it was very difficult. Um, so there's 12 nominations in this category. Aardvark by Oscar Toledo Gutierrez, a.k.a. Nano Chess. Thomas Yentz for coding and Nathan Strum for graphics in that one. Great game. It's a massive Artvark. undertaking. Oh my god, yeah, it's huge. Um, and multiple people working towards that. Hey, Nano Chess. Welcome, Nano Chess. That is you. <laughs> <laughs> Amoeba Jump by Dino Dion Olsthum, a.k.a. Dionoid. Another amazing fun game. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, they're all, all these, of, of course, are great games. Blackjack Theta 8 by Azure. Chaotic, Chaotic Grill, Port of Burger Time by Splendid Nut. Awesome game. Daredevil, Batari Basic, by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster, which is a very new game. 
Uh, Dragon's Descent by Revan Tuli. Pac-Man 2600-8K by Dintari816. Rail Slider by, oh boy, Lila Pojenken Pana. Let's, oh let me God. let me try this. Uh, uh, Lila Pojen, Pojen Pown. <laughs> Lila Pojenken Pown. That's, Sorry, dude. Uh, feels Norwegian yes, to me. It does. It's definitely, it has little accents above letters that we don't have. Yeah, in English, but... so it's very difficult for us. <laughs> Uh, Robo Ninja Climb by Nathan Tolbert, a.k.a. Ga Ga Gao Ao. I don't know how to pronounce. I only usually only see these words on the screen. Well, I know, and, some of, and that's also the point of like an internet kind of tag is they're meant to yes. be read. They're not. Yeah, Gao is... Ao. I'm going to say Gao Ao. Uh, Robo Mechanic by Christoph Klukzek, a.k.a. K.K. Altair. Spies in the Night 2 by Jared Gray, Gray West, a.k.a. Gray West. And Wizard of War Arcade by John Champo, a.k.a. Johnny WC of Champ Games, and Mike Hass for Sound. I'm so, lucky because I, pl I played about half that. of those, which I feel really yeah. lucky to So do. you're familiar with a lot of those. Uh, best packaging. So let's move on to the best packaging. Oh, there's oh. my mouse jumping around. There that we go. happens. Best packaging. So nominations are based on the quality of packaging, the manual, the cartridge label, and other associated promotional materials for the game com uh, that is completed during 2018. Uh, best packaging, 13 are uh, nominated for best packaging. There's some really creative packaging here. Alien Greed 5 by Chris Reed, aka Atari 2600 Land. Packaging by Yand Mam. Astronomer by Alex Petro, aka Cool Crab. Packaging by Alex Petro, same person. Uh, Balloon Trip by Blue Swimmer. Packaging by Vladimir Zuniga. Bouncer, a Boeing hack by Scott Dayton. Packaging by Scott Dayton. Dungeon 2 Solstice by Dave Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7. Packaging by Dave Dries. Dave Dries. Dries, that's Dries, right. That's right. Ketchup Kaboom, Kaboom hack by Scott Dayton. Packaging by Corey Kramer. Mappy by John Champeau. Packaging by Nathan Strum. Which, yeah, there it is. We'll be looking at uh, some of these uh, packaging. I do have some of these that are nominated. Three of them there. Uh, I think they're all, yep, yeah, they're all nominated. Uh, Plague by Feher Jano Zoltan, a.k.a. <laughs> Member Atari. And sorry if I messed up your name. Packaging by uh, Feher Jano Zoltan. Cubert Jump, Amoeba Jump Hack by Scott Dayton. Packaging by Scott Dayton. I think it's pronounced Dries? Oh, ah, well, I think it's Dries. I don't know. What this does everybody is, say? It's part, of the, it's part of the challenge. It this. is. Uh, Santa Bros. Mario Brothers Hack by Scott Dayton. Packaging by Joe Klander. Space Game by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. and Maggie Vogel. Packaging by Maggie Vogel. Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. Packaging by Atari Boy 2600. And Zombie Roadkill by Jason Santucci, Santucci of Gemini Tronic. Packaging by DC S S uh, Stulpener. Stulpener. We'll go with that. So next is Best Music and Sound wow, in a Game. Okay, cool. We're getting close to the... To, to the, the big ones. Getting the, close. We're getting there. Best Music and Sound. Nomination uh, are based on the quality and creative elements... Uh, um, and cr quality and creativity of the audible elements for a completed game during the year. Which is a challenging thing to do on the Atari. <sighs> it is. They were never made for much more than beeps and boops and, yep. and funny little sounds, but some people have pushed them to the limit. And it's, there's it's really its own challenge to try to create something. It is. It's very challenging, Muddy <laughs> Funster says. <laughs> very challenging. Um uh, so for Best Music and Sound, there's 10 nominees. Apollyon by Ferrer Jana Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Asteroid Rescue by Ross Atkin, a.k.a. Titus Renegade. Beware by Ferrer Jana Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Fear of the Dark by Ferris jo jo Janus Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. By Jeff Smith, a.k.a. Mountain King. Mappy. By Mike Hass, i.e. Uh, a.k.a. I.E. Sposta. And Daryl Spice Jr. 
Plague by Fair Jana Zoltan, <laughs> a.k.a. member Atari, and he's a machine. Four under music and sound. Uh, Space Game by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. and Maggie Volton, Vogel. Stripes of Terror by Christoph Kluzge, Kluzak, uh, Michael Zukowski, and Marius Gorski. Sword of Surtur by Jeff Sturmer, a.k.a. Ultima. There we go. Wow. So there's some good music going on in there and really good sound. Next one is best graphics in a game. There we go. Best graphics. So nominations are based on the quality and creativity of the visual elements for a completed game during the year. And there's 13 nominations. Looks like everyone in the, pa in the panel agreed with Thrust 26. Uh, Apollyon by Fair, Fair Jana Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atari. <laughs> Balloon Trip by Blue Swimmer. Dungeon 2 Solstice by David Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7. Fear of the Dark by Fair, Fair Janus Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Gizawap in the Terrible Blizzard of Fern by Jeff Smith, a.k.a. Mountain King. Mappy by John W. Champo, a.k.a. Johnny W.C. of Champ Games. Uh, Plague by Fair Janus Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos. Space Game by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. and Maggie Vogel. Stripes of Terror by Christoph Klukzek, Michael Zukowski, and Marius Gorski. Sword of Zerter. Sword of Surter by Jeff Sturmer, <laughs> a.k.a. Ultima. Yes, Nathan should get gra credit for the mappy graphics. Um, yeah, so there is going to be some errors here. Yeah, and we'll do some shuffling around. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, we are still trying to figure out who did what in every single game. So many different <laughs> games to cover, but Oof, thanks for yes. letting us know. It's so appreciated. Yeah, Nathan Strom for uh, Mappy. Um, uh, Tron by Orange808. Uh, Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. And to give you an idea how difficult it is to do graphics on the Atari 2600, you have, how is it? The, you have player zero, player one, missile zero, missile one, of which they're, uh, those two first two are eight bits. Then you have a ball, which is one bit that can be stretched out to two, four, or eight. Then you have a, uh, the play field, which is only 40, 20 bytes, which can be mirrored. And then you have the background graphics. That's it. But the Atari is very colorful. 128 colors. So, but you have to work with that on every line. It's very, very difficult <laughs> to make Man. something look really good. And 20 bits. 20 bits, not bytes. Yeah, if you had 20 bytes. It'd be a different That'd story. be really good. Yeah, 20 <laughs> bits, sorry. So many bits and bytes to keep track of. Um, yeah, 20 bits that are mirrored to 40. And they're very chunky. They're four bits across that they're stretched out to so you have to be very clever but it has very good vertical resolution so you have to work within this and you have to do it in real time drawing the screen it's not mapped out beforehand uh best pr now the next one is best programming <laughs> money funster let us know i don't things. think it's pronounced klutzak that's dutch slang for part of the male anatomy i apologize <laughs> That's not a good pronunciation by no. myself. Klukzak? Klukzak? I'm, yeah, oh I'm, boy. I feel like I know what the Zach stands for. Maybe I better stop for. while I'm behind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so best programming. Uh, based on the quality and creativity of the gameplay and game design in a completed game during the year. So pretty much everything that's not sound and graphics. The way the game plays, the way the pl game feels. It makes me laugh every time you say it. <laughs> Thanks. This is what we're here for. This <laughs> is the zero you. page. Uh... <laughs> it's a zero page experience. That's right. So, best programming. There are 12 nominations Apollyon by Fair ja Jano Zoltan, aka Member Atarian. Balloon Trip by Blue Swimmer. Dungeon 2 Solstice by David Weevil, aka S0C7. Fear of the Dark by Fair, Fair, Her, Fair Her Jano Zoltan, aka Member Atarian. Gizawap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. By Jeff Smith, a.k.a. Mountain King. Mappy 
by John Champeau, a.k.a. Johnny C. of Champ Games and Thomas Yentz. Nexian 3D by Brock Kigay, a.k.a. The Major Havoc. Plague by Fair Janice Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos. Stripes of Terror, here goes the name, by Christoph Klukzek. Uh, <laughs> we just tried to switch it around. So yeah, Michael Zukowski and Marius Gorski. Uh, Sword of Zerter by Jeff Sturmer, a.k.a. Ultima. Uh, Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. And the next category is Best Batari Basic Homebrew. We're getting close. Getting we're, close. we're zoning in. Yeah. Uh, any game completed during the year that was developed using Batari Basic, which is a programming environment. Uh, ten nominations here. Apollyon by Fair Janice Zoltan, a member of Tarian. Gizzlewap in the Terrible Blizzard of Fern by Jeff Smith, a.k.a. Mountain King. Horizon Shift by Paul Marable of Flump Studios UK. Monkey King by Alex Petro, a.k.a. Cool Crab. Plague by Fair Janice Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos. Space Game by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. and Maggie Vogel. Stardust by Brian Wayne Shea, a.k.a. Metal Babble. Sword of Surter by Jeff Sturmer, a.k.a. Ultima. Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. Congratulations, everybody, for wow. that. And now, for Best Homebrew oh. nominations of the year. This is, this is the best picture. This is where... So, you know, Best Homebrew, Batari Basic, and Best Homebrew are kind of for the culmination of all the elements everything everything that goes into the games the graphics the sound the programming just everything it's an overall homogenous package that makes the game what it is and that's what this is based on so this is eligible for any game completed during 2018 10 nominations balloon trip by blue swimmer birds and beans by blue swimmer Dungeon 2 Solstice by David Weevil, a.k.a. S0C7. Mappy by John Champeau, a.k.a. Johnny WC of Champ Games. And everybody else who worked on that. Don't have the names there, sorry. Uh, Plague by Farrah Janice mm -hmm. Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Refraction by Norbert Landsteiner, a.k.a. No Land. Sheep It Up by Dr. Ludos. Stripes of Terror by Christoph Kluczek. Michael is, <laughs> now I'm this is amazing. Very I'm aware. so happy about this. Uh, Michael Zukowski and Marius Gorski. Uh, Sword of Zerter by Jeff Sturmer, a.k.a. Ultima. Tire Tracks by Lewis Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. There he is, big monkey smiling that's, face. That's right. So congratulations to everybody that was nominated Hell yeah. for all these uh awards it's it's unbelievable accomplishment to uh even make a game and put it out there for everybody to enjoy and um congratulations on being nominated and um so the next step is the voting by That's everyone right. out there and we're currently setting up the voting in the atari age forums so Make sure you go into the forums uh, later on today. I don't know exactly what time they will be open, but they will be opening later on today. Um, so check in the forums for announcements um, and you'll see the link and how to vote. And so you'll be able to vote in each of the 10 categories, which you think should win the award for each of the 10 categories. And for the purist out there, yes. the person who's truly committed, you gotta, you gotta, don't do it by memory. Grab the games and oh, play yes. them again. Pop them in, even if it's just for like we, a couple minutes. We encourage that. Um, even if you have played all the 10 games, all the games that were nominated in each category. That's right. Uh, um, Arena Foot has put together a ROM package Ooh. that you'll be able to download Arena. all these games. These are all publicly available ROMs, but we have put them all together so it's very convenient. So you can download and evaluate them. That's uh, right. Including the demos too, so you can watch them. Um, all the artwork associated with the games, so you can vote for packaging 
as well, and all the instructions uh, for each of the games um, so you're able to play them and understand it. So thank you, Arena Foot, for putting yeah. that together. And we'll provide that link to the ROM package uh, along with the instructions on how to vote later on in the Atari Age forums. Or you can check on my Facebook or Instagram accounts um, for Zero Page Homebrew, and I will link that later on today as well. And remember that these are games. They're meant to be played. They're meant oh. to be have fun with them. Yes, it's... the awards, the actual awards themselves. I just got notified um, a couple days ago that they are now currently in the mail. Ooh. There are physical awards that we'll be giving away on February 23rd That's right. to the recipients. And we will have them uh, video conference in or audio conference or uh, maybe a pre-recorded um, video. Of However them, we can do it. Or, you know, a text or something. However we can do it, we will have them represented um, as the winner um, on the show. And uh, we, So hopefully you can hear from them. Yes. Hopefully you'll see them Not just us and talking. <laughs> and they'll be able to accept the award. Um, so we'll be doing that on February 23rd live at noon Pacific time, which is 3 Eastern time, 8 GMT. That should cover everyone. They know where some everybody in Europe, I bet, knows their time based on GMT. Oh, yeah. And everybody in North America knows it on P Pacific time or Eastern time, and they work it out from there. And if you don't, there's always Google. Oh, yeah. there we go. Arena Foot has posted yeah. right now the link to the ROM so you guys can get started right now on playing and evaluating uh, which games you uh, feel should win the awards. That's right. And you can vote for them. So get, get playing out there. Um, what else do I want to say about it? Oh, yeah. So nominations. Uh, <laughs> Rena's like, describe the award trophy. What, what does it look like? Oh, it is about that high, I think. It's got the Atari symbol on the top. Solid gold. No, it is solid. <laughs> it is solid plastic. <laughs> it, it's really nice looking. It's transparent. It's got the name of the award on the bottom. It says 2018 Atari Awards. And it's got a, a base. And I don't know. I'll, I'll show it to you on the stream when I get it. Yeah, as soon as we get it. Yeah, I should be getting it. They say it's going to arrive on the 28th of this month. So... You, but you never know. You know, mail is mail. Yeah. As soon as it's here. As soon as it's here, I'll be showing it to you on the stream, so you'll be able to look at it. Uh, there it is, Arena Foot. Clear, clear <laughs> so, acrylic. So specific. Clear acrylic with laser etched writing. And if Four you break it in three. half, there's gold inside. Uh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Possibly, <laughs> but we can't, we can't guarantee We that. can't confirm. You might just be breaking your award. <laughs> Yeah, most likely you'll be breaking. So um, I did add up the nominations, uh, how many uh, no, the games were nominated for each game. So, and I've got them in order here. So Mappy tops it out with seven nominations. The Titanic of... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, I guess not surprising to everyone out there, but uh, it was a very good game. Uh, Plague in second not second plague is, <laughs> we're not giving out awards um six nominations for plague five nominations for tire tracks and sort sword of surter uh four nominations oh it changed the screen graphic oh sorry thank you very much thanks arena there you go there you can see it yourself um <clears throat> four nominations for stripes of terror space game sheep it up Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern, uh, Dungeon 2 Solstice, Bl a Balloon Trip, and Apollyon. Apollyon? That's probably how you say it. Uh, three nominations for Fear of the Dark, uh, Aardvark, um, uh, two nominations for Qbert Jump, uh, Ketchup Kaboom, and Hard 2632. Now, I think the person who got the no most nominations mm -hmm. is definitely Fair Janna Zoltan, whose name I said about a billion times. Um, because he is nominated for Plague, um, Apollyon, and Fear of the Dark, which adds up to 13 nominations. The Michael Phelps of this. <laughs> That's uh... right. He's just <laughs> gold around his neck. Not yet. But, Not yet. Uh, a lot of nominations. That's right. And, a lot of potential. And I have made up a, a little symbol. You know, like how they do in uh, film, film awards. It says 2018... 
Atari Awards the nominee, the Laurels. So if you have been nominated, I'm going to post that um, on the forums so you can use it any way you want. You can just you know look at it or you can put it on a cartridge or do whatever and you want tattooed on your forehead that's whatever. right you feel good <laughs> about it you can put it there if you want to get it tattooed permanently or you know a temporary tattoo you, you know, know however you want to do it a nominee's logo yes so congratulations again to all of those nominees um and we'll be playing the games momentarily that's all right. the best um best homebrew and best batari basic homebrew nominations we'll be playing through all of those um we have played them a lot of them throughout the year um but uh, some of them we actually haven't got to yeah some of them were um put out before the show even started because i think we started in mm, april or may with the show so there's a bunch of months that i did i wasn't like actively monitoring what ex exactly which games were coming out that's a so great thing because we get to kind of like discover some of this stuff with you yeah and that's the that's also the reason why we're doing this, this whole thing is it's just an opportunity to replay some of your favorite games yes. and then discover some ones that maybe you haven't heard of that yes. the, and these are you know this curation if you think about it is people who have like who are pretty serious about the in the homebrew community and so these even just like a recommendation of try these out and hang yeah. out and play these games it's just a great chance to have some fun you know? and I think that's how it works for um, like the Oscars as well which coincidentally the nominees were announced yesterday Wow. For the Oscars. This and is ours, more important, ours are today. Yeah, you know, I'm just forget kidding. about that. You know, thing. like the... You know, ah. One of those Oscars, really. Yeah, and um, and it's, that's what happens with the Oscars, too. When they announce the movies, you go, oh, yeah, I was meaning to see that movie. Or, oh, I've never heard of that one. I, most, not this year. Everybody's heard of every movie. Yeah. They're very, very popular movies at the Oscars. I looked through them and was like, ah, yeah, I know all those. Yeah, those but, but there's popular. sometimes no surprises, surprises there. Sometimes, sometimes there sometimes. are. Or maybe you've been kind of doing other things and you're not super zoned into movies. And, yeah, but and it gives you a chance. And sometimes they re-release them in the theaters when they get nominated because it gives a huge boost. And that's what this might do um, for some of these games. Some of them you've probably never heard of. Some you're like, oh, yeah, I was meaning to check out that's that right. game. Uh, yeah, 2000, Impaler 26 says eight, 2018 was a great year for 2,600 homebrews. It is. It's a really huge year. And hopefully knowing that we'll probably do this again in, in 2019. Oh, we will. That'll Definitely. encourage people to, to, you know, if you need that extra little boost. <laughs> to push to, to get your game done the, or to work you know, on it. To grind an extra day to make sure that it's all the aspects are perfect. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a goal in mind which really helps all these things. There's a forum that potentially you could have be part of this stuff and looking at the works in progress games 2019 is going to be a big year oh yeah there's some really amazing games heavy hitters um and some that weren't even in that list that maybe haven't been updated in 2018 they're sitting in the wings and some of these programmers i know are so quick at programming that's right <laughs> at some some games have even been made in 2019 already that are amazing and they're almost done and they started in 2019 so it's going to be a huge year next year as well um what else did i want to say about that i don't think there's too much um so we're going to get on with playing these games um and i'm really excited because we have not played some of these games and we're going to do them in uh alphabetical order i think okay because great which not? ones are we doing what are we what's the what's the roster today the roster let me get back to my list here uh for the first first one we haven't played oh i've never played it as well uh i need to make vegas line odds for 2019 <laughs> if you want you can do line odds for this year too well, you can't because you're part of this. Yeah, Arena that's a foot. good point, Arena. Yeah, you can't gamble. You're part of it. It's like people <laughs> can't take part in uh, lotteries if they are like um, family members of somebody who works in a lottery corporation. It's that's like, right. no, you're disqualified. Yeah. So you can't have any part of that. No. Uh, so we're going to play a Polyon first. Wow. Uh, which is nominated for four awards. Uh, best uh, Batari Basic Homebrew. Best programming, best graphics, best music and sound. So all these games we're going to play are going to be awesome. Yeah. There's going to be some aspect to them that are just outstanding, that made them stand out of out of 100 and 
what is it? Ender 183 games. Man, yeah, these the games cream. stood out. Yeah, cream of the crop, these games. Back to work. Yeah, get back thanks, to work, Spice Warrior. Thank, You're slacking from work. That's right, man. Your thanks boss for is going to find out. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. 183, yes. So let's get the get this going. Get the chat back up here on our laptop because we got to switch over to the big TV. There we go. Okay, perfect. Pull that a little closer if it starts get, getting dim. Yeah. Oh, don't put it too close. So oh, we, oh, yeah, that's a good so we point. We have to hand this back and forth. Okay. Get the Atari up and going. Oh, which it is already. We just got to switch around the... Yeah. Yeah, no cats. They kind of like... Yeah, they, were, they were here. Right before the show, they were hanging out, and then... They're being some, all crazy, <clears throat> and now yeah. they're not here. It, it happens sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's okay. the cool thing about cats, man, is it's just like... They are know, their own thing. One yeah. walked by earlier. <laughs> yeah, if you had a dog, it would just be like... <laughs> oh, but right here, constantly, on your lap. Which is a bit much, if you ask me. It I'm is. I'm definitely more of a cat person because it's like, you oh, know. Oh, me too. I like, I like people who are independent. I like animals that are independent. And, I, and occasionally I like it when someone murders a mouse and just gives it to me. <laughs> As a present. This is like, that's just what we all want, isn't it? <laughs> a dead mouse on your doorstep. So we're going to play the NTSC version because oh, we're cool. in North America. <laughs> so there we go. And we haven't played this before. Yeah, okay. So let's... Uh, one second. Let me get up the volumes here. Oh, I'm so already liking the sound. So, obviously some aliens influence, alien influence. You actually play as the as the enemy. You play Seriously. as the aliens in this one. This is good. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. Um, so this is made by Fair um, Janos Zoltan. Uh, I'm going to bring up the instructions here. Okay, I've never played this before, by the way. Yeah, so it's going to be a little, little sketchy, a little bad. It's going to take some time. To... Whoa, okay. What is, okay. What, is, what, is, what, is, what is happening, friends? <laughs> You're going through the air duct right now. Find your way out. I don't know if the red is a good thing. Left difficulty switch starting with three or one lives. Oh, it doesn't say which one's which, but I'm guessing B is three lives. Okay, cool. Oh, you lost one of your lives. Okay. Or did you? No, you're I don't back know. I'm again. just hanging out in the main area. Okay, okay. That's, this is. Those are your pods that you're uh, patching out of. Yeah, really good graphics this for is, the. And also just the idea the flashing titles. red is great. Yeah, it's like panic time. Red, right difficulty switch, turn music on or off. I think we can turn it on. through the door up top or you can find the exit to the maze there you go that's an exit i think forward okay. oh that's where you came from okay great go through there go through up there oh, it doesn't do anything oh really yeah so i gotta go through this oh, business okay. here and then it's like forward forward left okay i don't know what i'm doing guys. okay forward forward i'm trying it doesn't do anything i feel bad okay james james take over what is happening Oh, you just were not. You were just at the end of a. There you go. Ah, cool. You were just at the end of something. Yeah. Okay, cool. Ultima dungeon style. Oh, yes. holy. Bah! And death. And death. And rip. Nathan Strum says you're going through a first person maze at times, then you turn down hallways and goes into rooms. Takes a getting a little used to navigating. There, go down there. No, there. Forward. There you go. Forward. And then you can turn left there. There, there's an exit. Attack, attack, attack. What's my attack? You're a face hugger, so you have to hug his face when he's not shooting you. You got him! Holy crap! Okay, okay, whoa. 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 Wait, wait for it. You. Oh, uh, dude! <laughs> Full okay. screen animation. Oh, look at he's dead. <laughs> oh my like god. A, now you're like a little alien. Oh my god, this is great. Now okay, you can I'm now you're more powerful. Do you have an attack? No, I don't, but I can yeah, a little bit of attack. Oh, you're oh. getting killed. Watch out. Oh. oh rip. Okay, I got my third pod. Select turns the flashing on and off. Let me know if it's totally just annoying the flashing. Because I can turn it off. Because it is quite 
if anybody has any difficulties. Uh, the adult Xenomorph gains one life as it kills somebody. So gotta face hug that dude. Get him! Oh, oh. rip, okay. Oh, nice little scrolling game That's over. cool, though. Okay, this is... I'm starting to understand what's going on here a little bit. The maze is still confusing, but this is my fault. This is not the game's <laughs> fault. No. This is fully... Oh, my God. To finish the game, you have to kill all the people and destroy the generators. Uh, uh, Whoa! Are... Okay, he just wailed on me. These are not the actual instructions. Okay. I think... I will turn to the instructions. Ah, oh, rip! But where am I? What happened? Oh, oh there's a generator. Yeah, but like, okay. Not starting over? Press button? No. No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Crashy crash. I <laughs> like first time player learning curve. Yep. Oh, yeah. Hold down the button? Got it. Okay, January twenty third. I'm gonna get up the instructions. And um, NTSC bam. On the computer here. Stay above their shots when they attack. Yeah, good, good idea. This is a cool concept, though, man. Holy cow. Okay. We got three pods. Where's? We gotta find Newt. She's hiding under a table. That's our. <laughs> that's that's right. the first plan. Gonna bring up the instructions. Here. Oh yeah. Okay. Hey. Okay. We. The good idea. Thanks so much for the thing. I destroyed the generator. Did not know about disabling the flicker. Oh, you gotta have a full-sized xenomorph to destroy oh, them. That makes it playable for me now. Thomas says yes. You can get rid of the flicker. You can get rid of the Dude. music. Dude. I love this too. That this dude's just messed up on the corner. <laughs> it's like, eh, and it's bloody on his it's just chest. Done. Okay. Okay. Oh, there's there's the generator, which I I need. Okay. I presumably I need a full xenomorph. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Ah. Ah. Oh, okay. I didn't. In space, no one can hear them scream. That's right. It's. It has been a long. It's been long ago that the Nostromo landed on the planetary LV-426. Oh, they're going for, like, actual alien lore. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, take that. Okay, the second form, though, didn't seem to be able to, like, grab the face. It's probably my fault, though. I'm not going to blame Yeah, him. you got to watch the bullets and just get it. Now they need to find the flashing room so you can grow big enough to attack. Oh! Oh! Uh. Okay. There you Thank go. You, Nathan. So I can I once I can, I got so the first avoid one. The dudes. Okay, so the first one I gotta kill these people. There you go. <laughs> in your face. Way you is really interested the in the species they found. So they captured their queen and they forced to lay eggs in their station. One second, I'm gonna bring this up. Oh here. dude, I think I just found a flashing room. You died? No, I just Oh. We'll see. Ah, oh, this maze is still confusing to me, but that's totally fine. It's my fault. Oh, you're big. Now you can kill. Is this? Uh, Destroy that generator. Destroy it. Dude. Nice. You did it. Whoa! Look at this. Nice. You're making progress. Okay. Got oh, him. In your Got face. Him. <laughs> okay. I've never been so proud of you. Got him. Yeah. Oh, dude. Okay. This is. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, oh no! To turret. And I gotta restart right from the beginning. <laughs> yeah, just a face hugger again. That's rough. Okay. Okay, I got. Press button. Oh yeah, good point. I've just been chilling out. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, when stomach. is this gonna happen? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No. Oh, rip. Game over. Oh no! Well, you made it pretty far. We do have a lot of games to get. Okay, through. we gotta we gotta keep rolling, dude. Yeah. That's so cool. That's like the graphics are so big and huge, full screen, and I love the multi stage. Yeah, have we it. not heard of this game? This is so good. It's I love I love the fact too that like um 
at each stage you're like vulnerable as well yeah. and then you grow each to like form has a different attack a different vulnerability it's and a lot of creativity and once you figure that. out that whole uh, vent thing i think it'll be totally different and then dodging and like yeah that's that's an addictive one okay what are you birds and bean birds and beans i've never played this one either it's quite the name let's try it out <laughs> let's try it out no this one is uh whoa uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Physical hardware needs an update. I think we're. Oh, maybe we're okay. Are we good? We might be good. Okay. Programmers, make sure your button is starting the game switch. There we go. I guess the intro is just bad. Whoa, do yep, I get it? There you go. Okay, I got it. This is obviously uh, Cold War inspired. <laughs> so, let me get the info for this one. Oh, Balloon Trip was next. Sorry. It's out of oh, order. Oh, no. Oh, no. So this is by Blue Swimmer, but they're both by Blue Swimmer, so he's not going to complain too much. Birds and Beans oh, God. by Blue Swimmer is nominated for uh, Best Homebrew. It's for the past couple days, I've been working on a version of the DSiWare. So this was originally a Nintendo DS game. Whoa. Birds and Beans. If you haven't heard of it, essentially you play as a bird with a really long tongue. And you use said tongue to eat beans before they hit the ground. <laughs> if you do hit the ground, it creates a hole the bird can't cross. So don't let it hit the ground. So it's harder to get them when they're up high, but more dangerous if you let them get near the bottom. And you have to kind of calculate your your angles. Oh, get higher for more points. Okay. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Uh, more points are scored for h eating higher beans. No. There's two special beans. Uh, uh, give me a special. Okay. A white one that restores a, br a block of ground, and a blue one that gets rid of all the beans on the screen. So you still haven't you still haven't uh, lost any blocks, which is really good. Uh, but I'm guessing they start getting a oh, little it's gotta, faster. Oh, it's got to get harder. I can guarantee you. Somehow I'm... He says, overall, this took me about four days of work. Oh, hope, hope you enjoy it. The game? It took him four days of work? Yep. Oh, so yeah. it's, first... it's cool with the trajectory, man. It's, like, definitely, like... Challenging, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, like... Ah! Oh, and you ran into it. That's death. <sighs> oh, oh, so you don't, even, you don't want to run into it at all. Can you press a button to start? Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, Blue so summer. 396. That's not terrible. Yeah. One more game for you. Okay. Yeah, because we got a lot of games to go. Yeah. So don't run into them no matter what, because you can continue on if you don't run into them. Okay. I did the worst possible <laughs> yes, thing. Yes, you did. <laughs> what can you do? You died in the worst possible way. Yes. Dude, okay, if you get the long ones. So this is one of those games where, and I know Blue Swimmer does um, a lot of simple but super fun games. Like one of those, like those games that you're like, oh, I'm just going to pick it up and play a couple games of it. Well, the trajectory is different than anything I've ever done before. Yeah, the angles. And just like his uh, his game Balloon Trip that we're going to play after, it's one of those games that's just like, uh-oh. It's like, it's just fun. Fun to play, fun to pick up. It's like a mini game almost, right? That's probably what it was on the uh, the DS. It's like a kind of a mini game. Nathan Strum's going to get a sandwich. Be back in a bit. Nope. Have a nice sandwich, man. <laughs> oh, nice see, sandwich. I got I got healed by the by the go. white one. I wanted to see that. Yeah. Now you just need to wait for a blue one, and then we'll be complete. We'll see wow. it all. Okay, come on. Blue one. And the blue one gets rid of everything on the screen. Whoa, that's okay. I'm a Which fan is of that. very helpful. Whoa, dude. Whoa, that would. Ah, yeah. oh, okay. I ran underneath. I was wanting to like. I knew I needed to seriously step some stuff up. Oh. Uh, oh well. Okay. Oh. Let's move on to balloon trip. Dude, that's a fun one. Which that's I have really the cartridge different. for, because it has a physical release, this one. That is a fun one. Oh, yeah, and I don't... Do I need to hold the thing down for this one? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it's just a physical... Yeah, for physical ones, you don't. Well, some you do, but not. Not all of them. Okay, this might take a little bit, because the other one, like, freaked out my frame meister. Wow, that's cool looking. Not what we want, but cool looking. <laughs> so, Balloon Trip. Have you uh, played this one? I don't think so. Oh, wow. So many new ones for you. This, this is awesome. Because we have three different hosts, co-hosts, right? 
So some people get to play some and some don't. So this is a great day for yeah, you. Yeah, this is like I'm, I'm getting. So I am going. And it's like speed round. I feel like I'm speed dating. It's like, hi, do you have any <laughs> yeah. brothers or sisters? I got one sister. Bye. What do you bye. do for work? <laughs> what do you do for a hobby? Uh, where do you live? How old are you? Uh, okay, bye. Big Next fan one. of Steam. Um, okay. Three, yeah. <laughs> Big fan Carol of Steam. seemed nice. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I gave her a five. I can't uh, remember why. Which one was well Janet? Dressed. She yeah. was, was she the one with glasses? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and you're still tanning. Oh, no. It's okay. I, we'll fix that. I'm, uh, it switches around. It's doing a down. lot of prep for this, so things boop, get messed. There you go. So My press the button, back. Okay. and the button flaps. Whoa, okay. Flap. <laughs> okay, okay. Flap your arms. There you go. Flap, flap, flap. So get the balloons. Whoa, whoa. Avoid the spikes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Avoid the water. Whoa, give, me the, give me that balloon. Okay, whoa, okay. I'm, I'm now gonna... you're getting there. You're calming down. Come there on, come go. on, balloon. There you go. Oh, yeah. So think of... Whoa. Think of um, oh. Super Mario Brothers Underwater World. Ah, oh, yes. That's... That's some of its origins. I mean, it's, it's... Oh, man, there's some precision that needs to... Ooh, good one. Its origins are from Balloon Fight, and this was an add-on from Balloon Fight and now adapted to the Oh, I see. They're sort of coming from the left, which makes it, like, a yes. little bit easier. Yes, you're flying oh. through... You're flying through the... the the Dude, obstacles. There are no balloons. The spikes. Give me some balloons, friends. Yeah, a little joust. Is it a little joust in here as well with the flapping? That's right, Carl G. Yeah, speed playing. Doing speed playing. That's right. This is a speed round. So this one was nominated for uh, best homebrew. Four, four categories: best homebrew, best programming, best graphics, oh, and best fun. packaging. See and it has a great, uh, great uh, cartridge. You can kind of see it in the, the webcam on the 2600. Nice little uh, cartoony graphics. Give me, give me, give me so you gotta, you gotta make it to the bonus level at least to get, okay. all, to get all the ah, where ah, it's oh. pure balloons. Whew. Okay. And, and that's that's in Joust as well, Whoa. and also Whoa. the uh, balloon balloon trip. So this is a very is this is like a meditative game. I feel like I feel like you gotta get in like a zone. You gotta get a certain level of focus because it's like. Yes, you do. You gotta you gotta make sure that you're like. I do feel like I'm floating, man. Doctor Clue says Apollyon is a lot of fun. Dude, Apollyon is very cool. It's it's such a different. I've never played it's such any. a different game. Like the the way it's structured and the depth of it, and and the multiple phases you go through. And like I love that you're like vulnerable for some, and it takes like. <laughs> so yeah, so some of it you're being chased. Whoa. Some of it whoa. you're the chaser. You're the aggressor. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. Uh -huh. Oh no! Oh, God. One more game for you. And I want to get to this bonus round. Try and get the graphic on the screen there. Sorry, war graphic. Okay, let's see. This is definitely like a time game, though. You know what I mean? This is like a survival game. It's it just is. like it's like it's just how long can you survive? Um, oh my God! Like, see, like look at this. No! Oh, okay, yeah. Rip. I want to play. I'm okay, play. you do it. You do. It. You see how long? There I'm we go. Sure now you I've can, got the Atari words. I guarantee you, can, you'll be able to do do, do a bit longer. Because I liked playing this part of um, Balloon Fight on the uh, NES game more than the main part of the game. Careful sometimes. of that friggin' fish, man. I'm just... Oh my god, that was terrible. I was too risky going down. Yeah, man, I was line. like, I'm, uh, this is, this, this, it's, it's, it's a little, dangerous. A little hint with this game, it's better to be low than to be high because it's easier to go up faster than to slowly float down. Ah, that makes a lot of sense. And so, you kind of maintain your position too, right? Yeah, maintain it in the same level. And because if you need to go up, you can go bam, 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 right to the ceiling really quick. So I stay in the lower thirds usually. I find that's pretty, pretty safe area.
so after a while, I believe it goes to an all balloon area. It's got to be like a point where it switches, I'm sure. There we go. Yeah, I really like this game, so I, I bought it on cartridge. I'm like, yeah, yeah. This yeah, this is a cool one. Cool, fun, uh, straightforward. Oh, now it's sped up. Simple feel, game. As I said, it feels very meditative. It's like you got to. It s is. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Also, look at this. A little, a little Great. meter at the top right. Well, that little thing stops time, so you can. Um, What's that ball? Float around. Yeah, that ball stops time. Ah. But I find it's not very. Don't go for that one. Remember the friggin' fish. <gasps> See? Ah, yes. That's kind that's of my where. strategy. That's a great technique. Ugh, yeah, balloons. like right there, exactly. It's like... Oh, dude, dude. This is next level. This is much better <laughs> than my uh, my meager balloon skills. Whoa. Damn. This is a tough, tough, it tough is. situation. I wish you the next okay. one. Okay. Uh, yep, we're going to move on to the next one. Which is da, 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 da. Dungeon 2, which we had played fairly recently. I remember Dungeon 2. We're going to play as a, a different character this time. I think we played all of bit. them. Did we? We did. We did uh, the, only one we, the only one we couldn't beat was the fairy. So we're going to play that one. Oh, <laughs> oh Just briefly. God, we'll we're do only going to be playing briefly. So this is Dungeon 2, which I bought... It's very beautiful packaging, which oh, I believe yeah. it is up for a packaging award as well. I'm always freaked out about opening these. So I always bend them and damage them. This one I didn't. So we did play a very long um, game of this to completion, at least with one of the characters. I, I don't think we did all three characters to the finish. Um, well, we did, because I, I believe there's, um, uh, yeah, we did two, two I think. Right. Well, like, we'll see the characters. Because I believe there's a warrior, there's a w wizard, and there's a fairy. There yeah. might be a th fourth one. Oh, but, there's a fourth hidden one that we obviously didn't, didn't get to, but, um. So this is, um, uh, by David Weevil. Oh, whoa. Uh, S0C7. I think, I think... Um, oh no that was the other game it was dungeon one no i, I think hold on i could reset because i think i automatic I think oh did it, you start I, I i think i might have screwed it up oh yeah. no here we go so i select it so so yeah you if you recall it's, here we go it's it's done at that on the uh, system itself so this is up for best homebrew best programming best graphics and best packaging oh. and obviously you can see the packaging is 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 wonderful there and it's got a, lots of extras. It's got a, a beautiful um, poster that's included with it. And some instructions as well. There we go. And David dries, drees. Okay, trip is we need the, oh yeah, we need the key, right? As uh, I recall. Yes. Oh, I'm getting killed. And I believe the fairy has a I think cast is it, but you've run out of spell points. Right? That's right. Is it? Oh no, the spell points didn't go down. So no, that was fairy... I I hit them. Um so like I can cast run fight. Yeah. Like the problem is is like uh Oh, your spell points do go down, of yeah. course. Yeah. So like, but I gotta find the. I'm gonna get wailed on. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to. I can't remember the techniques. Yeah, there's different. Because she has like a distinct advantage. Yeah, oh, now your hit points are down to nothing. But I believe you I can. Gotta use your spells, man. Oh, there you go. Oh, now you have no spell points. So, this game is so all about balance. It's really hard. Balancing everything out is so difficult and challenging. The fairy's the hardest, too, because she's the weakest. Yep. 
Feels like no health. Yeah, I'm done. Rip. 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 Almost. Still got three points. <laughs> well, yeah, but not for long. No, because now you have, can only fight. Oh. And death to you. And rip. Death to you. One more go. Just read briefly about the fairy again. Because, like, yeah, give us, give us these instructions. Yeah, you have to find the key, the owl, and the mistletoe. That's right. Um, but the mistletoe is right at the end of the game, after you find the key. Oh. Uh, you needed to gain entry to the Temple of Crow. Um, where are the different characters? The fairy, uh, immune to magic draining attacks. That's right. So she is has defense against, against her, against the other fairy. Um, max, 10 hit points, 15 spell points. Yeah, and we had a map that we built before, too. Yes, Dude, that's right. owl. I got the oh, owl. Good. That's so you great. can send the owl against somebody? I think the owls, like, rip through fairies, if I remember correctly. If you have the owl, you may use him to attack your opponent. Damage two points per hit, automatic hit. That's right. And Never I miss. So you want to use the owl on things, like, almost all the time, I think. What are you doing, owl? Well, no, because um. Uh, oh, these guys have more than two. That's right. Versus fairies only have two. Right. If I remember correctly, but these. Uh, dark fairy hit points two. Yes. Goblin is three. Wolf has three. Crow has four. So you always want to use it against a fairy. Correct. So this guy, for example, he's got like. So now I gotta like get some help. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Oh God. The fairy's hard, man. Hit points. It is. And, and when we talked to um, David about it, he said, oh, fairy's the easiest, he said. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> we had no luck with the fairy. No, man, we were able to death. rip through it with the fur the warrior we were able to like yeah. do the best bet. And there's also just an RNG element, right? Oh, my God. So you're just getting all those goblins constantly. Yeah. There's only so much you can do, right? I believe there's like a hidden area. Oh yeah, there is a hidden area as well. Which is like, cause right now I'm looking for a key. This yes. Is, this is the, the key goal. in the maze. See, I'm dead. Rip. Ah, oh, see, rough. Okay. Cool. Okay. Good. So we gave that a little show. We got the owl. We got some stuff. Yeah. Went through the dungeon a bit. Unfortunately, didn't find the key. So the next one is Gizzlewap and the Terrible Blizzard of Fern. I think I remember Gizzlewap. It, it was this... an early one. We played it a. Really this? early on. You have it on cartridge? No, no, no. I do not, unfortunately. I just have his first game on cartridge. Ah. Oh. Did I miss? did it, yeah. Oh, you did it. Good. Gives a whap right there. Yep. And I will have to get the instructions out for this Gizzle one. Gives a whap. The first one was crazy game. I remember this. Yeah. And this one, look. Look at the graphics. Look at that. Animated intro screen. Beautiful colors. So what is this nominated for? This is nominated for four categories. Best Batari Basic Homebrew, Best Programming, Best Graphics, and Music and Sound. Like, look at that character. It's amazing. This is the demo, I believe. This isn't me. Yes. Just, just so people know. So let me uh, get up the um, instructions. So that we can... Whoa! Okay. I mean, look at the characters there. You have a little bird, super cute bird. And isn't this based off of this guy's stories that he told to his child, his his kid, I believe, his right? His kid this made is... up the stories and then he adapted them to to a game. Looks like Samurai Jack in red on the intro screen. Yeah. It oh, it's cool. Beautiful I'm... little. Oh, you found something that feeds the bird. You're welcome. To bird. keep the bird from freezing, I believe. So let me load. I'm up. not a fan of my bird freezing. No. Let me get the instructions up here. My okay. tablet. I am doing some stuff. I don't understand it in Gizzlewap fashion. <laughs> uh, the game is timed and the days are weird. Don't forge for food unless you have to. Find the blood finch as quickly as possible. Uh, the game increases in difficulty. Vortices increase in size and intensity. They do more damage to uh, the moom than to... Oh, I'm on page 17. Whoa, okay. Basically. Oh, no, no, sorry, I'm not. I want Thing 17. Uh, 
Try not to dig unless the Morn Morn is singing. Oh, did you hear it singing? Back there? Oh, it stopped singing. Um, if you miss the spot, you'll have to wait until the hole fills up. Rescue victim as, as quickly as possible. There you go. Um, in later levels, your score will drop the longer you take to rescue them. Eagle eyes are your best friend. They allow the Morn Morn to see things in the snow at his apex. The shield has limited use and eventually run out. So this isn't the full instructions. Okay, that's all right. So far, I'm just digging. Now you have to wait for the bird to sing. When you hear it singing, that's where you... Oh. I'm digging in trees. That's... <laughs> yeah, I think it's usually under trees. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had the full instructions here. Sorry. Gizzle Wap is a crazy game. I remember Gizzle Wap, the first one. Uh oh. Whoa. My computer went to sleep. Oh, I blood back. Now. It happens. It's all good. Okay, I found a present. God, does anyone in chat remember how this, know how this game works? This is a crazy <laughs> yes. game. It's it's quite an involved game. Oh. That's a good thing, I guess. I'm collecting things. I'm you have to rescue people you as got well. You've got to. You have to find something. You have to find the red. Yeah, and like... Damn. Totally forget. So like, every tree that I've been doing. So, so, so my bird. My bird is on the left. I'm on the right. Um, And what's going down is I'm like going and I'm like digging into these friggin' trees. Check this out. Bam. I got a red thing. That uh, keeps your bird from freezing. Yeah. And, um... Maybe I can find the instructions quickly okay. here. Okay. The snowy wasteland. One man. One gizzlewap. I'm sorry. <laughs> I like my bird a lot, though. I like it. Beautiful. I, I don't know, like, if it has an, a, a... Beautiful graphic. A thing, if it's, like, longer. Whoa. Oh, there. Dig wherever it was singing. Like, exactly where it was singing. Send it up in the air, I think. To sing. Are you at the end of your? No. No, it still goes. Okay. Well, I think you missed it. Damn it. This isn't. Okay. Okay. Figuring it out. Okay. Come on. Oh, here we go. You control the Gizzlewap in the Morn Morn, searching for survivors. Okay, thank God. We're you, back. Can, you can move the Gizzlewap left and right to make the Morn Morn will follow. Press the joystick up to make the Gizzlewap jump, and the Morn Morn will flap. Press the fire button to dig in the snow. Kay. You have a salubrious stone you can pull down in the joystick to activate its ability. Uh, scan the area while avoiding the fern vortices and listen for the Morn Morn to sing. Turalu Ralu, and dig where he sings. Uh, something will be buried there. Note the Morn Morn will not sing if he's too high in the air or too low to the ground. Oh, so, so I got right it kind of... There. Back a bit. Uh, you must find the sweet spot in between. So he's not too high, not too low. When you unearth a creature, you will need to deal with it accordingly. The ones that need oh, rescuing. Oh, no, they died, man. Oh, they got too, so like, sad. They got too cold. The He's like, he, I like that they just leave the screen. They're like, I'm out. Gone. I'm out. Oh, it starts again. So send the bird up in the middle. And don't, he, he said, don't dig unless you have to. So only dig when he's singing. But I need it's health, too. too right? well, once in a while. I think the one on the right is, is your freezing. So don't let him, don't let the right bar get down too much. Uh, others you need to rebury. Uh, rescue enough creatures and you will see a star in the sky. A paladin will, paladin will drop a map. Pick up the map and it will lead you to a boss. Oh. Ah. Oh, so I have to like hit it, it instantly? Not instantly, but you can... See, this gives me some health, right? Yeah. yeah Every once in a while I need to do that when I get a tree. But just narrow it down before you dig. Like, don't dig immediately. Get it so you know exactly where it is. Go back a bit. No. Oh. 
didn't send him up again. No. Oh. Yep. There you go. Hey! And you rescued that person. Oh, it's got to be while it's singing. Okay, oh, I got this. Okay, I'm, this yeah. is making more sense. Arena. Those are points for rescuing and doing things. Poet, play co close attention to your life bars. The Mormon's life is on the left. The Gizzlewap's on the right. If either of them reach zero, the game will be over. If you take too long or the day turns to night, the pair will take extra damage. Oh, that's what happened before. It turned into night and I just got wrecked. Yeah, it got too cold. To replenish your health, you must forage for food. Fortunately, one of the customs... There you go. Send I've rescued off. a cat. Yeah, a little... Atari. Great, great animation. Atari got saved. Or Pixel. <laughs> Yay. Uh, to replenish your health, okay. uh, da, 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 da. it's a lot more methodical. Than it. Yeah, this isn't an a an action game. It's more of a. There you go, hey. rescuing little creatures. Dude, I'm such a good guy. So that was a golden dog. Two uh, golden chase dogs. Chase after them to rescue them. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, golden dogs. He just ran off and buried this himself again. Gizzlewabs are crazy games. I need some health, yo. Yeah, you have to dig at trees to find presents. <laughs> the golden dog. That's There's so a, a western uh, jun bunge bunge pee. Get it? There you oh, go. Oh, that's what I've been doing. That was an eastern bunge pee. Uh, he will run away. Of catch, course. catch him before he freezes to death. So you oh, did it. Oh man. It's a okay. Uh, if there's a white thing with teeth, run away from that. Okay, okay. Don't go near them unless you trap them in a hole. Uh, and then there's a kind of green leafa, docile creature. Rescue one, and time will reverse a few ticks. A uh, present. I don't know what that does, but I got it. I oh, got it. Oh, and that warrior dude, uh, they're very proud and arrogant. They will barely acknowledge the gizzle weapon and slowly walk away. So you don't do anything with them. Okay. 300 points, Serena Foot says. Oh, Thanks. up to 400 now. Yeah, I'm, 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 if I would have caught those two golden dogs, it'd be a different story. Okay. 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 Yan Fa Real, what is your name Whoa. on the Atari yes. Age forums? And then we can figure out Take why that. I got some points. you were sent. Because it might be for another title that you participated in. I like. Okay. He just walks away. Okay. Okay. So arrogant. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that arrogant saunter. So this game's quite involved. Oh, you've got a shield in the bottom right. When used, it will disrupt the path of a fern vortex. The oh, shield God. ability is granted when you find the super salubrious stone. Uh, stone. So there's actually way more to this, this than just this screen that goes into a lot Dude, more. Dude, it's night. And you're going to die. Yeah, now that I understand what's going on... Makes a little bit more sense. Makes way more sense. Okay, so but like... It's, it's too involved for us to get into deep it's not, this It's show. not a speed round. It's like... No. It's, it's We, we asked a, too, a, 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 a too complicated question. We're like, on our date, we're just like, so how do you feel about, um you know, New Age Buddhism? <laughs> it's just like, no. It's like, no, it's too much. You only got five minutes. Get it? There you go. Carried yeah. off to safety. It's, it's uh... Okay, we're going to move on to the next game. Okay. I think we've got a good handle on what's going on here. Uh, the next game is Horizon Shift by Paul Marable. Oh, so Sorry, give the what? Okay, we're good. <clears throat> okay, which one are you doing? Horizon Shift? Cool. That's right? Yes, Horizon Shift. And I Horizon haven't played Shift. this one either. There's so many games I haven't played. Horizon Shift is uh, nominated for Best uh, Batari Basic Homebrew. Cool. I was just going to say, this looks like a... Great, cool little screen. What it's got that? like a dude with a mustache like a... and a square head and a bazooka on his back. Yeah. I think. He's, he's ready to, to mess stuff up. He's ready to rock. Whoa. Now, we did play this not too long oh, ago. I remember this. And this was kind of... You rocked at this one, as this, I recall. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. I remember this you one were the one who was... made in conjunction with a, a PlayStation game or a Switch game. 
And so he wanted to make a toned down version of his for the 2600. Um, so this is what the yeah, result I remember was this, this was like, I mean like, oh my God. <laughs> you gotta be like, this is get like, to the center. As soon as you oh, shoot see, it. Oh, rip. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Quick. Oh. Uh, oh, my God. Just barely. Bam. Oh, now Bam. it's time. Quick. Quick. Whoa. Oh, Rescue God. Ah. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. This is where James can... 31. I remember you were... Oh, you got another life. I don't know if I can hand it back to you. It's okay. It's okay. This is a collaborative. This is this is a speed. Speed round business. Oh, oh man. It's shooting. Ah, 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 ah. It's okay, it's you okay. Really, oh, you really can't miss in this game. <laughs> like or you're in trouble. It's like Charles Bronson type character at the top. It's just <laughs> ready right. right. it, it Yeah, okay, okay. You're back, you're back in rhythm. Yeah. Just gotta be focused, determined, don't ever miss. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta make like fast decisions. This is also one which is so random. Like if you have ones on the opposite side of the screen and you have to like run, because your yes. movement is so slow, it's like this tactics to this game is gotta tough. Make some decisions. And like you, this is definitely one where you could get lucky, right? Oh like, my you God. could end up with a bunch of stuff in the middle yep. and be totally fine or you could end up with like having to literally do an impossible feats of like running across especially when it gets crazy like see there it's bad but it's not terrible because they were all clumps that's right one more for you i believe in charles bronson i believe in him <laughs> um Yanfo Real, um, just message me, message back on Atari Age forums, and I can, I can figure out which which game that you were uh, nominated for. Yeah, unless we made a mistake. This is also partly why the awards are a month away. So you <laughs> have time right. to do it, but we also Try to straighten all this. But we've also got time to make sure that everything is in a good situation. Yeah, when they start shooting, then that's that's the trouble because you have to avoid the shots and try and hit them and do it perfectly. Ah. Ah. Oh, Arena Foot figured it out. You did the artwork for Alien Greed 5. That's nominated ah. game ah. for the year. So there you go. Packaging on ah. Alien Greed See, 5. Like, what do you do? Rip. Okay. We got the idea of this one. Time to go to Mappy. Oh, yes. So, what yeah. is it? This is the most nominated. Most nominated game. Not the most nominated the Titanic, person. The Lord of the Rings. That's the right. uh, uh, what was the other one? Uh, I can't remember. I don't know. They were like, what would be that for this year for the Oscars? Would be uh, it was Gigi, I believe. Gigi. <laughs> I year? think I no. It was like a nineteen sixties movie or fifties oh. movie that was like the most nominated. Oh, like ever. that's like uh, on par with because they're all tied. I think there's like three that are tied. Oh. For most nominated of all time. And it's, Gigi is the friggin' uh, a Ben Affleck movie. Oh. Gigi, I believe. Is... Zero? Zero nominated? Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. So Maybe I, you got a lot of Razzies. I, it's, I try to... Oh, Yon For in. Real. Yeah, he did the artwork for Alien Greed five or six years ago. That's why you can't remember what he did. Okay. Thrust 26, 32K, DPC+, plus, Assembler, and C++. Plus plus. Uh, this oh. is nominated for... Best homebrew, best programming, best graphics, best music and sound, best packaging, oh, oh, and two oh, technical oh, achievements. Yeah. So as you can see, it's quite it's obvious insane. why this was nominated for best graphics. Look at the single line um, graphics on this with different colors, every line. Uh, oh, oh, the design oh, of the playfield. Oh, 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 rip. Oh, and obviously, Ice Posta and Johnny, uh, sorry, uh, Ice Posta and um, Spicewares um, work on the music and audio driver for this is unbelievable. Like this, the music that's coming out of this and all the sounds at the same time. 
and obviously for programming, just the sheer number of... How did you get that? How did you get that cat trapped? Oh my god, there's some playing going on here. Like, the cat was on the other side of the door. I don't know. And we... This was... Oh god. Ah, oh, that was a... That was just a bad idea. <clears throat> I'm not the greatest. Sorry, map. I was probably interfering. I was right in your way. No, it's okay. I'm like, um, I'm not. I've learned a lot about Mappy over the, the time that I've been involved in Zero Page. Oh, and the extra. You have. Sorry, what? I've learned a lot about lot Mappy, about Mappy but yes. it's still a game that's still, well, it's still, it's still elusive to me. I always need like a warm up game because it's definitely, um, like I remember how it works always, but like, like. It's always... And uh, as you can see in the bottom right hand corner, the two. Um, Oh, oh, oh. That is due oh. to my very special console that I have. It's been dubbed by uh, Thomas Yentz. It's very special. Yeah. Um, you can see the colors bleed into the two. Yeah. <clears throat> That's because the timing on my console is a bit off. The color timing. For some reason. It could be my RGB board. It could be my um, uh, six-switch light, light, uh, light sixer oh. itself. That's unfortunate. Because when a cat's right on top of you... While you're on a trampoline, There's only so much you can do. Do you want to do you want to map it up? Oh, you're hell way, yeah. you're way better at mapping than me. Oh, it takes a little bit of time for me to, for me to practice to get better. So the technical achievement, one of the technical achievements is all the all the cats that are on a single line and the mouse, and you get them all in a row. Unbelievable, and it's still able to do the flashing. You want to know something that's cool, James? Uh, I believe the first game I ever played yes. on this show was Mad. I believe really? I believe that that was that's the a case. Good start. I could be wrong, yeah. but I but I'm I'm fairly certain. I remember it was definitely on the very first show that I played. But I believe it was I the think first. It was. I think it was the first game that I played, which is a very cool full circle thing for me. <laughs> that like Matthew yeah. being the most nominated was on the first show that I was at, and I don't know if that was the first time you played it on Zero Page, but it's possible. Possible. So I feel really lucky that I got to. My introduction to all this stuff was um, this game. Was this game full circle? Just as any good story should. Well, that's right. You know, callbacks. And you go. You know, you start. And it's, it's, you, you come. You come all the way around. That's not where I want to be. Go to the top. And I remember on the very first time a very similar thing happened where uh, <laughs> you played Mappy way better than I did. And I, I didn't even understand how doors work. Right. I had no concept of it. And, and, and that's the cool thing about this game, though, is that it's like just as a game, as a concept, it's like nothing I've ever played before. And it takes a lot, a of, lot games, of time to it, figure out. A lot of the early games are just like nonsense. This one has a bit of sense. It's like, okay, it makes sense. You know, you're getting... Uh, you're getting back works of art and, and things that are stolen from a cat gang. Um, there's some sense to the story, um, but still, it's it's very abstract. The games nowadays Absolutely. are like you're a real person with accurate weapons and yeah. you know everything's perfect. And there's the so and I and there's so much stuff that's happening that like you know you're, it is, it's all about quantity in new games versus stuff like this. It's like gameplay, hundred percent, right? And they're challenging, which is which is what's really fun is that you get in this position where you can actually like play um, things quite a few times because yes. even though there's not as many levels it's more challenging and there's a level of chance involved which yes. is very cool and I love that this is timed by the song because when <laughs> yeah. I first played it I was like what? how is it people know like, what is over. happening perfect yeah I'm pretty good at that now glad they kept the scoring bonuses from the original the more points you get if you get the items in pairs in a certain order yeah this one is i believe they try to keep it very accurate to the arcade because why not if you've gone this far why not just go for it the whole way this is definitely one of those games right where it's like you just imagine um if this was released in like you know the like the like Mind like like well, how i like i just i would love to just sneak this like if i was a time traveler oh that'd be amazing what i would do is i would take a, a copy of map you know just i would just try to find like who would be the person to sort of sneak into like their office like send like a send like a like a like a like a package to someone and they just plug it in and they'll be like Oh, be like, I, how does this work? Oh, you could uh, drop it off at 
the Atari headquarters or Activision? Yeah, or? Activision would be the place. You just like <laughs> drop a copy of this at Activision and just and just like you know let them figure it out and put like an initial like this is from DB, you know, and and they'd be like, who's this DB guy? <laughs> what is? But. You know, they'd open it up and go, what is this chip inside it? And they'd be like, whoa. And they would never be able to replicate it. It'd be magic to them. But if you took, like, something that was made... Depends when, but... Uh, if you took something that was, like, a 4K or 8K or 16K without a um, an additional processor on it, an ARM processor, and just showed them, like some of the crazy tricks that people have come up with nowadays, I think that would be... Like, they'd call you a witch if you brought this back, actually. Yeah, that's because the thing. Because there's a microprocessor in it that's, like, you know, decades and decades beyond what they have. It's like that photo of the dude that they claim is a time traveler with glasses and, like, holding a cell phone. Like, you could be that guy. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Always in the backgrounds of a famous big, photos. Just holding up a cartridge of Mappy. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad at all. Yeah, man, definitely better than uh, Oh, they can't get through a flashing door. Well, they're on the wrong side. I want them to come on the other tactics. side. Well, yeah, it is. I didn't. I thought they could open, but not the flashing doors, because those are special. But they can open normal doors. I'm not really going for the doubles, because it's not, it's, not, it's, not, it's hard enough just to finish the levels. Not that level. Oh, but that's the cool oh thing God. about good games, right? Is that like they, cats. they get there's there's like increasing difficulty. There's like it's more challenges as you keep going. Yes. Yeah. It doesn't just you know, once stop. you beat it, it's like oh, there's actually some some new layers of things uh, to try. Oh, got another two cats there. I'll finish off nextly. Perfect. This might be might be Still in the got clear. Three extra Bam. lives. This might be my best game ever. I think I made up to like level ten before. Fortnite. This is the exact same maze. Yeah. So people. once you learn it, I guess that's where like tactics, right? Once you yeah. figure this out, it's, you're fine. Still not easy. You have to be exactly well. No, it's not the same. It's that balloon. Extra balloon in there, in between. There's so always, there's always something, man. Hopefully, I did enough. Oh yeah, and these are arranged are... slightly different. No. Good choice. Good yes, call. Yes. Yeah, I knew I didn't have enough. Time Very to smart. get that one and that Yeah, because you have to be you perfect get, to Because you get a huge bonus for that oh, last yeah. balloon. Seven nominations for Mappy. Yes, that is correct, Arena Foot. Well celebrated game. This might be where I got This is where the, <laughs> the difficulty starts to, starts to add up. Oh, yeah, yes. you got the bells now. Yeah, so there's another way to kill the cats on this level is to ring their bells. Oh, wow. wow! I didn't know you could go through them jumping off a trampoline. Yeah, there's some potential, like, uh, in the middle of a like level. Perfect I timing stuff. Yeah, I knew you could do it here, but I guess it counts. See, that's the problem with this level. The long pathways, you can't even see if there's a cat on this the other screen. side. It's like, this is the best game to describe to people. You are a mouse that's a cop chasing cat burglars, and there are trampolines, and your only weapon is aggressively opening doors. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. That is it's true. It's accurate. It's like, what did you do this weekend, honey? Um, Ring their bell. Woo! Oh, wait, that's good. Yeah. I played a game where you did this and this <laughs> and this. And look, look, it's too hard. Or I guess I could have used the trampoline to get some pretty serious it. timing, though, you'd have to nail. Last lives. Oh, yeah. Aggressively opening doors. doors. It's Love true. Love it. With, like, a sonic vibrations oh my God. that fire. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. whoa! whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know if you... Ugh, it's impossible, that one. That's right Rip. behind me. That's probably my limit. I don't know. I think I finished that level once. Yeah, it's so I've, hard. I've seen you. You can break the trampolines that have other trampolines beneath them. That is true. I could have broken through that one, but they'd follow me down. Uh huh. Enter my name. Just J. Nope. Said P H. Nice. Quick 
quick scrolling. Yes! There we go. Okay. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's move on to the next one. What's our next, uh... Let's take a look. John Shampo, Nathan Strum, MKH, oh, Mike Haas, Ice Posta, uh, DGS, Daryl Spice. Oh, I missed the last one. Let's see if I can get back to those. No. No. Oh. No, but those are all like programmers in the in the, the which, high scores. Why not? so cool. That's very cool. Uh, next one is what? Monkey King, which is a two-player game. Oh, yeah. So let's plug that in. We've done extensive testing for Monkey King. Yes. This is a game we're very familiar with. A super fun two-player game. I love the fact that he did that, though, putting in the high scores, because it feels like when you're at the arcade and you like yeah that you're you're going up against other people's and and there's something to shoot for as well new record yes new yeah. record new record for me yeah because it wasn't put in there okay i think we're on the right switches but we'll see as we go um so oh i forgot to announce what this is nominated for but as soon as we die i will oh i have to get those I forgot just like there we go that's a slow down that's a tree that's a heart which i don't want to use yet and that's a death for you ah oh. <laughs> uh, that's was, the one you really want to that get. was definitely rip that was good oh. Whoa. Whoa. oh yeah we got the that was the first coconut coming down forgot about those i'm gonna get some health oh, damn it i'm gonna grab some health I need it. Now I need health. Get that. So, ah, for people watching this, oh, you're God. two monkeys climbing up. Ah, ah, oh, Whoa. I just ripped. Ah. ah. Okay. So this is nominated for best a Batari Basic Homebrews by Alex Pitro, aka Cool Crab. Ready? Let's go. And you have to collect these little dots, which gives you power-ups. And the more dots you get, the, the higher and the stronger the power-up is. And there's coconuts is. that will just wreck you. <laughs> oh, and it wrecked me. So if you hit a branch, you lose um, a, some of your power, I guess, or a life, whatever you want to define it as. And you got to be precise. Oh, damn oh it. God. Did I you just take ate, that one in the I face? I just ate, like, two things that I shouldn't have. Oh, no. So now uh, I have the power up to get rid of a branch, and Erlen has the power up for extra pain. health, which I health, just ate because I which I ate too. Ah! Oh! 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 No! Devastation! Sometimes in games you, slow just, down. you just have to not die. And so the first power up is slow down, which can be in your benefit. But it slows everybody. If you're bad down. at slowing. Or, and it's yeah, slows everyone down. So I actually benefit him too, but so it depends if you think you're better at playing fast than the other person. That's right, and you can play cooperatively, right? If you wanted yeah. to, you don't have to like uh, try to. Cause right. Yeah, so you can go for a score because ah. there is a cumulative score at the bottom, and you have to not freak out when you go oh. when you, you hit. When you hit it's like, damn it! So you can like be cooperative and say, okay, I'm going to use mine for a slowdown. Okay, I, let me have this one because I need health. So it's open-ended. That's what makes this game really... A, yeah, that one added a, a thing to your branch yours. in front of my face, which luckily I was on the other side. Yeah, it is that was... Oh! oh! See, I just ate a coconut and I just oh, ate a thing. Oh, God. Now it's getting fast. And so, like, that one was... See, James went for it. I went for it, for it but I I, was, like, it was wrong idea to go for it. Yeah, and, and, and as was put... Uh, put it's a two-player game, but it, uh, you can also play one player. There's a there's an AI, which is actually, like, very it's, well it's programmed. A, it's an interesting AI. It's, it's very competitive. It just goes straight to the top and gobbles up those powers. Oh, yours was at a different spot than mine. Yeah, That's and like, this is... It feels like hell? some updates have happened. Yeah, I don't think so. It's a safe That's game. happened a few times. Okay, there's extra health, but I don't need it. I have one more to wreck your day. There you go. Have that. Ah, oh, dude, I just, oh. I just, I just did it. 
Ah! Ah! Oh, see, this is cool because there's like a level of chance too because I just ate this coconut. And also, if you hit anything, you lose all your power ups. Oh my god. So you kind of start from zero. So if you're saving up for extra, ah. extra power, um, it just decimates all your power. We'll play one more game. I wonder if the uh, glitch is still there, that if you slow it down enough, it wraps around the speed. I bet it is. Yeah, because it's kind of a fun it's thing. It's a cool, like, it's like... It's like finding, like, okay, I'm, like, invisible. <laughs> ah, I just ate the coconut, man. I kind of had an idea of where I was at. Okay, this is... What's the highest power-up? I can't remember what it is. Uh, Again. I'm going to have to save up for that. If I can. It's really hard so, to get to Sometimes the best tactic in Monkey King is just don't die. You know yes. what I mean? Like, Let the other person take all the hits. Ah, uh, oh, see coconut it in the one. face, man. Oh, we're doing pretty good. It's getting quick, though. Ah! Uh, see, so yeah, I've got to be precise. Ooh. So, precise. Super fun game for two players. I love when people make two player games because there's not whoa. Yeah, Monkey King's one of the one of the um uh, better two player games as well because there's just so many things you can do with it and it's so simple. Nope. Oh sorry. Got it's it. Okay, you didn't know. Okay. Next one after Monkey King. It's Plague? Is that... Plague? Uh, why is that going right to sleep from full NTSC screen? NTSC will do that. So this is by Fair Jano Zoltan, a.k.a. Member Atarian. Best homebrew, uh, best BB homebrew, best programming, best graphics, best music and sound, best packaging. So he's really, really talented as good graphics and um, doing title screens. And I find his games have a lot of atmosphere cool. to them and a lot of feeling and a lot of, um, you know, depth to them because he's the one who did a polyam as well so there's there's a lot of things going on in his game so this one uh yeah go for it so this is a platformer and you play like a, a plague one of those people that go around and collect dead bodies do i okay to that? get that you do want to get that and you want to press down to get it there you go so i didn't know that the first time i played the game now don't go in the ah pits. <laughs> don't yeah, go in the pits. Ah, uh, no, you're in the pits. But you can go to the right. You won't be able to get back up there. You just have to miss that one. I see. And it's kind ah, of a come on, buddy. You have to like turn. There you go. Oh. Don't. There you go. That's a tough one. Oh, you got it just in time. So we'll, there you go. This game is challenging platform. I feel like no hope. No hope. Jesus. And it's black and white. It's like oh, oh fell in the pit. Oh god, ran back to it. There you go. Oh, oh god. I'm so bad. Jump! There you go. Okay. Whoa. Just gotta get by that guy. Just drop him and go. There you go. Ne Whoa! Okay. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, dark levels? Man, my enemy. Oh. You did it. Whoa. Okay, I think there's pits in this one, so be very careful. I guarantee you there is. Oh, God. Garbal! Garbal. Oh. 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 At least it lets you continue where you are. Ah! Ah! Rip! Oh god! Just move slowly. Slowly? Slowly? There you go. Oh, oh shit. Friends. Dr. Clue says, cool, dark game. Yeah, it's it's so, <sighs> so unique. Oh, you ran out of continues. Oh yeah, definitely ran out. Using them up. Yeah, that's a tough jump. You have to be right to the edge. Thunder. No. Oh. I think those are fine. I'm sure they are. I'm not even gonna do it. I don't think you get health from them, so they're just points. How oh, many points? You have six points total. There, now you did that one perfectly. This one's safe. Next one's not. The next one's rippy is. 
Yeah, in this game I get to a point, and I think it's the next, this level, where it's just so... Ah! Oh, oh. double jump. Okay, wait, and jump to the right. There you go, you did it. I did it. I think I've done that before, but not many times, because I was tired. So your nose is caught, so you oh. have to kind of turn around and jump. Oh, I see. If I had a nickel every time. <laughs> When your nose is caught. Oh, another dark. Ah! Oh my god, I think this is the part I can't do. You have to run and jump, jump, jump. Okay. I have to jump up. Jump up! Ah! Just before. Jump up! Oh god. See that ledge? Yeah, I see it. It's like. There you did it. Jump over. Oh, oh my god. Come on. Oh, I think it's down. So be careful. Jump over that. No. Oh, I might have. Here. Been... <laughs> Holy sure. shit. Holy shit. Really dark. Look at that. I feel like these pits. No, those are fine, but that one's a pit. So careful and slow. Slow. Okay, that's death there. Oh, you got full health. That's good. Okay, that's a pit. Oh, I didn't make it here. This is challenging, but it's not impossible. Ah, it's fine. I feel like I gotta jump over. You know what I mean? I think it's the best to jump over. Now just. Go straight to the right, I think. There you go. There you go. Oh, get up. Get up. Ah, ah, no, ah, get out of there. Ah, ah, no, oh, safe. no. Get up. Ah. Oh, it's so Over. hard to jump. It's so hard to make this jump. No. Okay, buddy. Ah. There. So just ah, calm. Ah. Calm. Oh. You're really good. F it. Who cares? Whoa. Oh. You have to continue. Good. Go, 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 ah. go. <laughs> What is up? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh this has made it so okay. far. Okay. Pits in dark rooms hard, hardly speak, seem sporting like. I think this is one of the Dude. games where you have to kind of memorize a little bit. I'll definitely. Like, like really. die and memorize. Get back, die and memorize. I don't think we can. Let's, let's move on. Yeah, okay. no, no. We're not going to get any further than that. Yeah. But you made it further than I've ever been. Oh, it's a man. really good run. Oh. Uh, the next one is Refraction. Which is a uh, two-player game. Okay. So I get to play again. Ah, oh, sick. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Plague is really unforgiving. Oh my Amen. god. Amen. But you look at it. right here. Yeah. If you look at it, and you go, "Wow, that's really this amazing one, right? and creative yeah, graphics." Uh, yeah, that one. Okay. Pal is not where we live. Oh, innovative too, like the darkness and all this stuff, and oh, pits yeah. and different people shooting stuff. It's just like the whole and, thing. And the great animation and graphics. So I'm on the right, you're on the left. Do I have avoid that? thing kill you can steer your bullets oh no they don't you don't steer them they get refracted they're like light so am i supposed to try to kill you yes oh, oh. So once they get in on your side they bounce around oh whoa this is rippy kind of game man I think you can recall the bullets. Oh my there we go. Holy fuck. Yeah, when you get to like the... Oh god. There's a little bit going on, eh? Ah! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh! Rip. Oh! Okay. And you gotta watch the... The angles and the bouncing and get in between bouncing. Ah, oh, I just ran right in, <laughs> idiot. Damn. It's a very clean looking game. So this one is up for oh my God. Uh, best homebrew. So if you're at the top and you shoot, it refracts down, right? If you're at the uh, bottom and shoot, it goes up. And I don't think it's very easy to get exactly the center, but it'll either choose up or down. Whoa. There was a something else though too to this. I don't know what it is. Where you can kind of change the angle of refraction somehow. I'm trying to figure out how to do that again. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I got it. You can direct the refraction. 
you can press left or right as it's going through to, t to aim it up or down. Oh, I see. Now I'm distracted by doing that. Oh, and the other thing absorbs your bullets. Ah! Oh. I don't know what the game goes to. Might just go grabs. Uh, I think it goes up to something. Oh no! Uh, so this game was made by uh, Norbert Lance Steiner, uh, aka No Land. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> oh, definitely. No, I didn't want to. You are winning. <laughs> Ah, it looks like it's easy to avoid things, but you get really distracted. Well, yeah, the thing is, is like, you have to like, you basically have to do your best to like, just dodge as much as possible, because it's like a lot of stuff happening. <laughs> This is like a game where it feels to me like it's almost more about like not making a mistake than it is about actually like winning. Yes. Because <laughs> like uh, I'm sure if they were better at it, it would be the case. But I feel like just trying to not get hit is actually more important than trying to hit. It is. Because like yes. the odds are you're gonna make a mistake. Um, yeah. So avoiding is like your number one priority. Avoiding yeah. Things. That's how I've been doing it, man. Like I haven't, I haven't thought at all about hitting you just even once. I'm just fire it randomly, <laughs> and then I push left or right every once in a while, and I just try not <laughs> just to, to get hit. Off. This is like a survival horror yeah. game. It's like just don't get eaten by zombies, and you're good. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. And like, cause there's enough stuff happening that like the odds are you're gonna make a mistake. And if you, if I just make less mistakes than you, <laughs> that's right. Oh, it's still 21. What does this go to? Maybe it's 25. Like I haven't looked at your screen in months. <laughs> I'm just firing. It's all about you. Just yeah, cause I'm it's like, strategy, if I cannot, if I cannot get hit. And especially when both are coming at me. Yeah, when the big block is on your side. Yeah. Ah, oh, see, now I'm not doing so well again. Oh god. Ah. Uh, utilizing your strategy. Yeah, that's. You gave up your secrets. I did. I shouldn't have said anything. And you can recall your bullets, so you don't want to shoot again too early. Because I see you've been shooting, pressing the button too early. Oh, damn it. It just keeps going. <laughs> it probably does. <laughs> we'll go to 25. Okay. Oh, oh, one more. Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. Black and white changes the ship shapes. Oh, that's cool. Oh yeah, I mean it's like cosmetic, right? That's cool though. Maybe the difficulties change things? Let's just try it quickly. Mm, not really. It seems, no. it seems about the same. About the same, yeah. Very oh, cool. actually, it's, that thing seems to be moving faster. Oh, it is? Yeah, okay. It's moving a lot faster. Okay, so the next one is Sheep It Up. Have you played this one? No, I don't think so. There's so many of these games I haven't played. Ah! Yep. Sheep it up. Okay. Sheep it up. Oh, yeah, I think I played this one with Tanya. That's right. Okay. okay. Um, so this one is nominated for Best Homebrew, Best Batari Basic Homebrew, Best Programming, and Best Graphics. Wow. Okay. So you've got cool. a nice little title screen. Moving titles. Okay. So you want to go as high as you can. And you press the button and attach yourself. There you go. You're off to the races. And you're dead. <laughs> and rip. So this is like Amoeba Jump, except a little different gameplay where you attach yourself to the blocks that are moving. Whoa, okay. And you have to time it up very carefully. And you can, you can steer yourself a tiny bit. But I tend not to because it's, tricky. it's, it's difficult. Ah, you're safe. It, it's kind of like a, a tutorial level. 
Gives the you first the first part. one, that's nice. Yeah. It gives you a little bit of a chance to figure out what's going on Shoot with your sheep. It up. Okay, wow. Yay! Okay, so, so now yes, I'm done. Yes, this, this is by uh, Dr. Ludos, who I couldn't Holy find his real name. Cow. Actually, I, I found yes, three cow. people who could be Dr. Ludos, but I didn't know which, which one it was exactly, so I didn't want to presume. Ah! Uh. Holy cow. Okay, I'm, three is, the, is how much I managed to get. I can't remember what I got, but I got really good one yeah. day. It was like in the 30s. Muddy Funster just said this is one of those easy to pick up, hard to master yes. games. Yeah, dude, yes. for sure. And, oh. and you know, the, the long adventure games that take hours and these ones that take, you know, a minute to die, they, they're, they're both fun. And they're both amazing on their own terms, right? I feel like my like ah! my my like sense of geometry definitely improves based off of playing like homebrew games. Because a lot of the fun games have something to do with like timing things. Like, like that one we have to fire arcs and stop like, you know, oh. bombs. Like there's just so much um you know, there's a, so much calculation, like you know, or like that one game where, where you had to like bounce terrible. something off of like a ship that was firing. There's there's so many calculations you got to make in these games. I feel like. Oh yeah. Why am I doing so terrible? It's a hard game. It is, but I, I got like. Take some time, man. This is like, I could like the best I've done is three. Like just <laughs> that's like. I think I'm just not every, concentrating. Well, every one of them takes effort. That's the challenge of this one, right? Is like, there's not a single... Stakes are high. Yes! See? There you go. If you do... Oh, See, it's hard, man. Those ones are brutal for getting onto and leaving them. Oh my god, what am I doing? <laughs> Impaler 26, my best is a measly 13. <laughs> That's not a measly... I feel like, um... That's pretty good. Oh this is, my god! This has got to be a game that there's like a world record for. You I know? might, I might have it, but I think the my last time I played this, I did so good. Everybody watching, go watch my other game of this. I, I destroyed Whoa. this. See, there's so there is an RNG element. Like oh, totally. Each one is totally random, whether it's fast or slow or not moving at all. Ah, C five. five. That's, <laughs> That's really like good. the best I can do. This shouldn't be hard, guys, if I don't do... <laughs> I was certain that I was going to fuck it up. It's not even moving. Oh, God. One more turn you get. It's all about patience. There's no time limit oh, on this. God. It's super... You can go, go one more turn. It's, it, you, can go, you can go as fast or as slow as you want on this. It's, it's all about just... Super timing. <laughs> oh. Jeez. Okay, okay, this is addictive stuff. This uh, is addictive stuff. So we're going to move on to Space Game next by Carl Garrison, a.k.a. Carl G. and Maggie Vogel. Cool. Uh, nominated for... Uh, I'm missing one of these categories, but best says four, but it's actually three on the list. Best BB homebrew, best graphics, best music and sound, and maybe one more. And he was very nice to send me the retail version of the ROM today, Amazing. so we can play the full version. Got it? Oh, yeah. Uh, Space oh. game. Space right at the bottom there. Game. Cartridge version. Okay. And a nice Atari Age logo. Oh, you're set to very hard. Maybe you don't want to do that. Oh, I think it's the dip switches. Just go for it. So there's a little bit of strategy, but mostly it's shoot everything. Okay. Where am I? Where am I? So there's collect things that you collect that are power ups, and they Whoa. come out of that little dot. So that's a that's a random one. The question mark. Oh god. Whoa. Why am I not? I'm not very good at shooters. <laughs> clearly. And that one didn't make anything. Ah, oh. little blinky eyes. Oh, that one didn't give me anything. Oh. 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 Whoa. Oh. oh, God. Rip. Hold on, one more. 
<laughs> one more. I just because I just that was not it. representative of my skill. That was not good. That was terrible. There you get it. Whoa! This is the thing. It's it. it's so hard because it's like you're you think. Oh, because I'm like run away from some the of them are thing, bad though. Run away from things that are firing at me is like the. Yeah, it is. It's it's like it's the kind instinct. of the office. You got to change your mind. Oh, oh. They go, those wiggle, so it's hard to get sometimes. There you go. Dude. Okay, so now like, you got that some. Give me a shield. Fire power. I think just go crazy. Press, press fire a bunch, or hold it down. I can't remember what that is. Ah. Maybe it's shield. Ah. Ah. Hopefully it's a shield. That would be awesome. I'd love a shield. Um, let me get the instructions. For I'm this. a big fan of a shield. So I know Whoa, which that ones was are something. which. Ah, 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 ah. God, okay. Whoa. Come on. Whoa. Okay, okay. And I think you can't let it get to the bottom either. I don't think so. That sounds about right. Oh, hey, sorry. cats are here, guys. Everyone was wanting some One cats. cats. Yeah, don't get the times two. I can't. Oh, Maybe the times two oh, make gives you two ships. Whoa. That would be awesome. That would be cool. There's Atari's on the edge of the camera. Hey, Atari. There we go. No I love I love that you're casting Atari so like people on stream could think that we're like talking to like the thing. Hello Atari. Super confused. Be like, about hello it. computer. Hello light. Hello. Hello light. door. <laughs> there we go. Wait. Hello kitty. Hey buddy. He's cute. He's pretty chill cat man. Oh yeah. He just like lays down instantly. Just, like... Uh God knows when he's interested in people or not. Sometimes it's just like... Muddy Funster says, This is one of my favorite homebrew games. Like many of the recent crop, it's way better than most commercial re releases back in the day. Yeah, because there's a lot of depth to it. Has That one I don't think you want. I think that stretches you out and makes you a big target. This is the snowflake one. So... Whoa! Whoa, what the fuck is happening? A dodge! Am I supposed to catch them? No, what, just dodge. What's happening? What the fuck is going on, James? Dodge. I'm, d I'm dodging, but it doesn't seem to there make it. Yeah, you just have to get through it. <sighs> okay. Whoa. Wave two. Whoa. Whoa. Sp spiders. Oh, okay. Rip. Well, that was at least better than last time. How come I can only see one piece? <laughs> Dodge. That's so good. I love uh, oh, I think I have to download it. That's just a preview. There we oh, go. Buddy. Space game. So we need to know what all these different power-ups are do you want me to do another one or should you do you no, want to do i it? want to play it uh oh this doesn't have doesn't have the pictures in the instructions cool maybe it's just my reader anyway those are the power-ups oh, oh no that was from a bad power-up oh, wide, wide one the arrows i think is the wide yeah that was rough dude that was very rough Double ship, you gain a second ship, which mirrors that's, the action. That's badass. Yeah, Wide that's, ship is... That's the bad one, of course. Bad one. Fast ship is your ship moves the, and shoots faster than normal. Slow ship. Slow ship's terrible. Makes sense. Fast ship's terrible. Wide missile, your shoots are wider than normal. And sometimes, multiply, sometimes multiple enemies can be destroyed. I like this one. Shield. Okay, Bad it's navigation. Right Your controls are reversed, making oh, the ship go left. It's terrible. That's horrible. Power down. This cancels out any active power up on your ship. Jam cannon. Your cannon becomes unreliable, firing only about 50% oh, of the time. Oh, I don't want this. Blast shield. Your ship is protected by a short-lived blast field. You are safe from enemy fire, but not debris. Dude, not I, debris. I love, I love this like concept so much that you oh, like um, temporary power ups. Yeah, and then it's kind of mm. random. It's like you and you go for it. It's like some are good, some are bad. That's right. So you have to make split decisions, split second decisions. And like, and then, and, and you can just like dodge everything as like a technique and just stay normal. No, I don't want that. Slow down. That's cool. It's, and it's just cool that like you could end up like accidentally getting there. into shit. Damn. Now it's Galaga time. No! I want to keep this. It's hard though, because it's double the... Oh, that's... This is not when you want. Why? Ah. So you lose points by getting hit. Ah, that's ah. what was happening. <laughs> because like I was trying to like... um, I wasn't sure what was going on. I think I've lost my double. Nope, oh, still have it. Good work for a little Dude, bit longer. Dude, perfect. But I like this one that when you when you when you get it, but twice the chance to get hit, right? That's true. But I think it's worth it. Okay, man. But 
But you don't get, you don't die. Only get the one that gets shot. Really? Yeah, oh, see, see that's, that's still badass. Good. That's really good. So then. it's definitely beneficial in all ways. You get three ships now. Oh, oh that's the backwards control. That would be rough. That would be grippy. Oh, I wanted that one. Uh, Oops. It's, it's so you're like scared. You like, just make okay. you gotta make the choice, right? And like there isn't a There's no time. And the longer you take Oh that's shield. Damn it! The longer you take to this uh to shoot them, the lower the bonus gets in the, on the screen. Cool, next one. Mm, you want to play one more? Sure. The power downs I hit the most are the ones I come up with. <laughs> oh, God. Chives. Look up. What the next game is? Oh, I'm already like, oh. oh. You already got killed? Right ah, <laughs> so bad. <laughs> oh, okay. So this next game is Stardust by Brian Wayne She, aka Metal Babble. Uh, and this is nominated for Best Batari Basic Homebrew. This one I've never played. I've never even looked at this game. Cool. I just downloaded it today. Okay, what is it? Stardust. Yes. So this is going to be. Cool. Oh no, I did play this. Talk do I like? Do I have to? Of course I played. It. I didn't play it before. I didn't play it before I was nominating it, but I played it. What do you do, man? You just. I'm gonna have to get the instructions Whoa. on this. What, one. What's happening? I shoot stuff. Yep. Shoot. Let me open up the instructions. So we know. Oh, we missed the score. It's okay. We're not really playing the score. Today, unless we're doing really good, then definitely. Get <laughs> I was talk to the chat. That's right. Talk to the screen. Talk to the camera, not the chat. The person can't see me. It's part of the weirdness of all this stuff. So like, hold on. So like, I'm just shooting and like stuff. But the screen is is you can go off the screen. I think there's a little thing in the bottom. Oh, I see. It's sort of it's telling your me chart. Like where I'm going. Uh, whoa! Whoa! How to play. On your mission, you can control, use a joystick, use navigation computer as a guide. You'll encounter asteroids, <laughs> space debris, even hostile alien combatants. In your face, aliens. So there's a Whoa. graviton, a giant sentient blob of mass, a robot prime, Whoa. a clone invader. Might have been a clone. Upon reaching the planets of the uh, Alliance system, you'll enter into battle with the invading general. The cruise ship is equipped with a powerful laser torpedo and a shield system. Ah, 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 ah. I just feel like I shoot everything. At this point, I would do. Uh, if the cruiser comes in contact with enemies or asteroids, the shield will take damage. If the shield health is completely depleted, your ship will be destroyed and your mission will fail. Carl G, it kind of seems like an evolution of asteroids. Yeah, it's kind I was like going to say, like, man, totally. Oh, oh, you're fighting Mr. Dude. Shoot him. Avoid him and shoot him. He's, like, slowly getting, Avoid his shots. getting more powerful as time goes on. Oh, you almost got him. A couple more. Three more shots uh, on him. Uh, 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 buddy. Two more, maybe one. Ah! Oh, right to you. Okay. Whoa, 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 so There's whoa, a bit whoa, of momentum. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't on. just go crazy. Whoa, oh, you're getting, <laughs> you're getting too crazy. <laughs> I tried to not do it, but it just like <laughs> went insane. It went so fast. So, yeah, your navigation's at the bottom. You gotta take things slow, buddy. Power-ups. Hologram generator creates a hologram ship that fights by your side. Whoa, where did we get that? Oh, defeating the evil queen generals. So you gotta defeat some some of the big guys. That dude. All right. Okay, give me. Double hologram general generator creates two ships that fight by your side. Extra points and shield points. Your shield is upgraded to take additional hits. Um, okay. Okay. okay, okay. 
Oh, God damn it. Like, this is, like, not the easiest oh, yeah. navigation. Yeah, you have to defeat that guy that went back and forth along the screen to get the power-ups. Okay. I'm a fan of that. After defeating all the generals, report back to the starting base to complete your mission. Whoa. Okay, so I gotta... That's cool. This is some navigation. I like the map a lot in this game. Yeah. I think you just have to keep navigating around and looking for that uh, That the thing base. that I found? Yes. I so wonder, keep flying through, just, but not too fast. Yeah, it's pretty random, I guess. Okay. Yeah, the big asteroid is coming up. Oh, that's the oh, careful. Oh. Okay, okay. It doesn't really show where you've been Some games. on the bottom. And where things are, like your starting point. Whoa! It kind of shows it. you just where you are. Some games have space friction, nonetheless. Oh, oh, see, like, oh, that's not good. I think you're low on... Yeah. Low on shield. Well, it's rough. Oh, there's purple. Go to that purple. Oh. My turn. Yeah, give it a go. I mean, maybe I should have just done that purple thing, but I feel like so the purple... we're starting is... in the top left corner, so that, that's, we have to remember that. Well, I think the purple is where you came from. Right? Oh, maybe. Oh, it might have been. Oh, it's really accelerates fast. A little bit weird when you shoot your ship, your ship disappears. You see what I mean? Like the purple's there. Kind of where, where it came from, yeah. But maybe that's the ship. Like that's actually a good idea. That is man. something as soon as I came on the screen. I think I'll just avoid. I, you only get points for shooting them, right? You don't get any power-ups, so it's best to avoid them. I think I'll just do it systematically. Oh, Yeah, I was thinking about that as well, where I was like, you could almost just go like left. And then just go all the way left. Just do like a snake. Damn it. Almost like a snake pattern. Yes. Done. At least want to try and fight the boss. Can I have one more? Yeah, go ahead, man. Okay. Do you wrap around if you go? Oh, you do wrap around. Okay. It's like the boss is always in the same spot. See, this for you, he's kind of to the right a bit. There you go. The center, or just touch anything. Just touch it. And wait till he's finished flashing and shooting the other thing. It works. Damn! I get a bonus. I get an extra ship. Oh, ah, blue screen. Line count issue. Line count issue. No signal. Signal again. Whoa. Whoa. I'm kind of... Let's get out of the screen. Explosion. Hopefully I got all my shields back. There we go. Oh, we're back. So a little bit of a line count issue for digital hardware. So that might be something to look into to update. Oh. Sorry. The chat just went off. Oh, that's another base. Oh, maybe I get to fight two dudes. Dude. There's two of them. Oh, no. Oh, they both hit. Nuclear bomb. They'll take hits. But they are less wide. Takes more tactics. And they drop two bombs at once. Almost got it. I'm almost I like this timing, though. And it's going flippy again. Sorry, everyone. Oh, there. Yay, I get to retain my three ships, because I think I lost my second one last time. Holy I'm a, a wide target, That's though. hard, though. Oh, it's over. Okay. Very, very difficult. The more, like, it should be harder to control if you get bonus. You can't just have good things without bad. Okay. There okay. we go. It has diagonals. Oh, we haven't been using diagonals. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, cool. 
Should we do the next one? Yes. So the next game is Stripes of Terror. I believe this is a two-player game. Okay, cool. Hold it down. Stripes of Terror. Let's do it. Wait till it starts to sell out. I think this is a PAL game, so it needs to get its line counts going. There we go. So this is uh, by Christoph Klug, Zek, uh, Michael Zukowski, and Marius Gorski. For, and it's nominated for four categories. Best Homebrew, Best Programming, Best Graphics, Best Music and Sound. Cool. Pashi Grozy. It's got their names and pictures up there. Well, that's, that's cool. That's amazing. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, you're at the top, I'm at the bottom. And I'm unleash Hellfire. Whoa! Jesus Christ. It's crazy. And never in a game have I ever seen bullets like this. Like, only in, like, schmucks. And never on Atari 2600. Got some awesome rocking music that's playing the whole time. Fast. Oh my god! And like this language that's like across the top. What feels like. Check. Whoa! Death. And the way it keeps the score of how much health you have left. Oh my god! Can you still fire while you're being. You don't want to stay in one spot, right? but to shoot, you have to stay in one spot. So it's, a, it's kind it's of like a trade-off, right? They're both pretty even. See the little uh, scrolling text on the back of the screen? Oh, God. The, bottom? the Polish, the crazy Polish <laughs> language. <laughs> This is definitely a shotgun. <laughs> a little bit offensive, a little bit defensive. Most defensive. Holy. Oh, we've almost got you. One more. One more. Ah, oh, rip. And he gives a message in Polish or something. And it's not sure what it says. If anybody out there can translate all this. Ah, oh, oh. oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah. God. So you become um, invulnerable for a couple of seconds after you get shot. But you're still able to move and fire while you're being shot. And so it's a good time to take the opportunity to start firing your own the, <laughs> the graphics in this are just outstanding. Yeah, this is Like the background is, is beautiful. And Never seen so many bullets on a screen on any any game ever. I'm mean, sorry. Ever seen had this many bullets? Like this is schmuck territory. This is like insanity. total schmuck territory. You have somebody can harness the number of bullets that are on the screen and turn this into a moving space schmuck. Oh my god. I would love you forever. Those are your favorite kind of games, eh? Uh, not this, not this type of game, but the schmucks are, are right up there um, with the platformers. That's my other favorite type of game. Oh yeah, one more shot. No, you're done for. Whoa, I don't know how you avoided that. The thing is, when the bullets reach the other side of the screen, oh. Uh. Somebody press the button. Lead might, yeah, lead is pretty close. It's pretty close to a number of bullets. But Nathan Strum can't bring another 2600. And especially bullets from one person and another person, both on the screen at the same time. It's crazy. Like, how many bullets is that? It's like. No, it's just every, it's like every line. Okay, do go back. There, that one. So, two, four, six, eight. 
Both sides too, right? Yeah. So they're definitely using. Somebody uh, mentioned that they're using extra RAM. Definitely. Oh, thrust says at least two bytes per bullet. So that's way more memory than the Atari has. And you have to keep track of your position, my position, scrolling text, where you are in the song. Um, so much stuff. So they're definitely using extra RAM. What? Unbelievable game. Yeah, man. Like, it, it's small, it's simple. Good two player game, but. Okay, so let's get on with the next one, which is Sword of Surter, which is an uh, adventure game. Oh, cool. I don't know if you've played it. I don't or think not. so. This is kind of a. Sword um, of Surter, let's check it out. Which one? Top one? Yes. Yeah, the bottom one's a flashback. Atari flashback portable. So this is kind of a. Uh, you know, the guys with the hats with the pointed horns, but they don't actually have the pointed Vikings. horns. Vikings. Vikings. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is kind of based on Viking lore. Uh, this is made by Jeff Sturmer, uh, aka Ultima. Before. So you have a choice of the bow or the sword to I'm start off with. I'm gonna bow it up. The sword is way more powerful. Uh, but the bow gives you advantage. I would go with the bow first and try just that for out. Fun. And there's your uh, hut. Hey, hut. <clears throat> so this is uh, nominated for best homebrew, best Batari basic homebrew, best programming, best graphics, best music and sound. Yeah. Blech. A little splotch Death. there. That is cool. Not many games leave Look, a splotch. Like a... So now you're on your ship. There you go. Yeah, the. The bow Whoa, is I'm really good ship. for shooting stuff on there. I'd love a BB text kernel. Hint, hint. To the ASM geniuses. Carl G says that's on my list. Oh, that's very <laughs> cool. Because there's not too many text adventure Atari 2600 games. That's a good point. I know, like, maybe a one and two, two games? Because it's really hard to do. To do really, text? really hard. Yeah, it's very hard to do text. There are a number of... Is it just a turtle hanging out? I feel uh, like this a is sheep. a dungeon? A sheep. Uh, no, this is where you buy stuff. Hey, the hay frame. But I don't think I ever, when I was playing it before, had an, any anything to trade with that person. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And, and down to you. And, and off to Valhalla with you. That's nice, though. I don't <laughs> mind being in Valhalla. Oh, oh, yeah. That's cool, and I go back to the beginning. So there's multiple mazes. Oh, there you go. You picked up something. I can't remember what the extra bullets. Yeah, this you do maybe, run out. Uh, maybe a place. To... Yeah, it's like a dungeon. Extra powerful bullets, probably. And you do run out of arrows, and you're down to like two left. Nah, this is just good. My extra stuff. I think oh, extra just more powerful, powerful arrows. More powerful. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Don't get too close to that. Dude. Yeah. Oh, oh, you have arrows. Don't close in. Well, you were like, save your arrows. <laughs> okay, okay. Whoa. Uh, Arena Foot, a Viking adventure, uh, action adventure for the Atari VCS. Seek the Sword of Surtur and bring it to Valhalla. Beware of Vikings, wolves, ravens, and traps. Be aware of everything. Seek Whoa. powerful artifacts that aid you in your ship, aid you in your quest. Uh, Nathan Storm says, "Love that you can get into a ship." Yeah, it reminds me of Ultima. Mate, Oh, dude, I just got a. I just got. And it's, obviously, this guy loves Ultima because that's his name. Yeah. So yeah, he he definitely. Um, ah, that guy oh. moves a little randomly, so you don't have to close in on him. There you go. Meat, oh, meat. is good for. Good meat. for this game. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. A different part. Tunnel. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> ah, 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 this is dead so quickly. Yeah, be careful of those guys. Be very careful. Just go in immediately. Oh, the most deadly thing in this game are those birds. Those freaking birds, man. Okay, got bows and arrows. This is sort of a key. 
situation. Oh, it's a mushroom. mushroom. Yum. You know, Vikings for sure did a bunch of uh, psychedelics. Did they? This was this is one of the theories. When they talk about Viking rage, they actually <laughs> they actually like just took a ton Rawr. of like they just would give them like these mushrooms and send them into battle. So oh, they were like wow. hallucinating. Wow, that would do it. Anything to get an edge, right? That's in Ultima as well. No, you can't kill the Oh, oh you it's just like don't infinite touch death. So that's that's kind of this game. Try the try the sword. It's really powerful, but actually that's what it's really good for is the birds. I think I always took the sword. No, no, you have to press it. Ah, you have to press it. You can't just hold it out in front of you. I thought I was. I was like, step into my sword. <laughs> step Theoretically, in. it should work it's, that way. It's, it's, oh, the boat has a cannon. No matter what you yeah, pick. Yeah, which is good. Okay, yeah, you definitely need that. Okay, this is a bit rippy. We'll see. Uh, I guess that's a dragon uh, with its uh, mouth. I think of it as the Mortal Kombat symbol. <laughs> Defeat the Mortal Kombat symbol. Too bad the Vikings like we know that that never existed. Yeah. Is that's that true? That's probably true. Yeah. All these portrayals and who they were. I haven't watched the TV series. Have you? Um, no, nah, I haven't watched I think the TV that's series either. trying to portray them in the right light. You have nothing. <laughs> nothing to trade for the key. Ah. Oh, Whoa, this is a cool active. game, though. This it's, is like, it is difficult. This is challenging stuff. So we're going to move on to the next game. Cool. Tire Tracks. You played this? Yes. I, don't, I think I must have. Okay, let's do this. Let's see. Uh, and this is made by tracks, Lewis man. Hill, a.k.a. Muddy Funster. And it's nominated for five Whoa. awards. Best Homebrew, Best BB Homebrew, Best Programming, Best Graphics, and Best Packaging. Oh, I remember this. Yep. So accelerate with the button, up and down to avoid obstacles. Very fast-paced game. No! You don't die. You actually you can die if you go into the water. Which you should definitely show it. Uh, uh, oh, right to the bottom. There you lame. go. Lame. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, you didn't get the poop award. <laughs> <laughs> but you got third. It's something. <laughs> Yay! It's the Canadian award. <laughs> third. Oh. That's sad. Yeah, because we're not the worst. Ah! Oh, is it down? Oh, oh okay. There we go. Didn't I felt like we I felt like it could go through. I don't know why it's a mistake. Uh, almost. So I should be able to get first. Because I was ripping through, it's just that last bit and now that I know that I can. Yeah, you probably can. So to get first, you have to hold down the butt and not hit anything. Go to game two. Look at that reflection of so beautiful. That's her. Yeah, the colors in this game and the graphics in this game are all really, really nice. Ah. And the obstacles are really well colored and um, the graphics on them are good. I'm going to get third. Game two for you. Game f four, I've never gotten first. I think I got first on first, second, and third, but never the fourth race. Maybe first in the second, first and second, but not third and fourth. Dr. Clue says, wow, that is beautiful. Yes. Oh, fall in the water, they said. Yes, we'll have to do that. Second. Yeah, it's not terrible. Nice. What did I get? Did I get? I think you got third. Oh, I got to get second at least. I'm going to go fall in the water. Look at that, guys. Yeah, it's a cool, like. Cool underwater thing and the dolphin there. I wonder why he changed it to chunky wide graphics to fall in the water. I guess he wanted everything bigger. Not too small. And the uh, I'm gonna die. Uh, and the palm trees and the parallax scrolling of the um, the I, palm trees and the clouds as well. I, I regard this as a two player game. This is definitely like what Back you do. You know what I mean? And being like, you know, someone trying to compete to get the best score, best time, all this yes. stuff. Oh, I'm gonna get third. Oh, definitely third now. Come on, I gotta get at least second. So this is why it's a two-player game, right? Yeah. So someone manages to do well, and then the next person. Ah. Kinda... Yeah. 
at least match them or beat them. I, I won't get first, I don't think. First requires memorization. First requires, yeah. And because the patterns are always exactly the same. Yeah. So this is definitely a game where you could practice. And... One more. Oh, dude, he says the tire tracks 2 will be a two-player and working on it. Whoa, uh, that's awesome. Split screen. <gasps> that's so amazing. So top and bottom. Yeah, and then you have two different times. That would be oh, that yes. would be epic, man. I mean, you probably miss out on the beautiful graphics at the top, but I'm sure you'll substitute that for other amazing looking graphics as well. Okay, yay! Now move to game three, winter level. Walking in a winter wonderland. Didn't they do a Halloween version of this too? They did a special Halloween version just for the show. Which had like E.T. and like um, uh, Freddy and like all these crazy characters. Like these Halloween type characters yeah. if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, Muddy Funster was amazing. Second. Okay, let's he see. did a special Halloween and turned everything into Halloween characters just for one of our episodes, our Halloween special. So if you want to see that special edition of the game, I don't think he ever even released it. You should he release it, it, man. For, it's just amazing. made it for us, yeah. Or added as a, a bonus level, but it's the game's done. So I guess he can. You added it, just release as a, an extra one. Did I get second? Excellent. Yeah. Okay, go for game four then. Game four. Uh, this is the one I think he turned into a Halloween one. He added some more stuff in to it. I don't remember what he added in. Different characters for us. Yeah, there's a lot of threes and a lot of moving around up and down in this. Lucky to get that. This one's hard to get a third on. Ah! Ah! Yes! Oh my god. Oh Woo! no. I don't think I'll be able to match that. Uh, you'll probably be able to. I mean, there's a level of luck oh. with something like this, too. You gotta get in the zone. You do. Oh. I mean, dude, I messed up a bunch. Did you? I got second. I think it's line. more tolerant to this level. Yeah, because this is a hard one. But I didn't like, you know, there's there's messing up and then there's really messing up, yeah, right? Yeah, like grinding against it. And then you're like, no. Like that. That's messing up. That's a score of zero. See, this, it's, a, it's a tough one, right? It is. I've done so well. That's the thing. I could tell the second you thought you were doing well when the oh, problem happened. It. I'm lucky to get third now. One more. So I was trying to get this to get first place, and I'd memorize it. Even memorizing the pattern, it's really hard because this one's a long one. Yeah, you gotta kind of nail it on like a lot of levels. You can't get stuck like that. You can glance it, but not like that. How do you get second? <laughs> a little bit of luck, a little bit of skill. Yeah. Also, because I didn't have anything to compare it against. <laughs> so you weren't stressed out. Exactly. Sometimes that's a huge advantage. Ah! Because right? right now you're trying to hit something versus yeah. I was just trying to like get through the blocks. <laughs> See, this is, this is, my tire tracks is so addictive. It's one of those if games that's quick and, and addictive. Yeah. And if you're playing with someone and you and you want to do exactly what we're doing, this is how, this is where tire tracks. I think he wrote, uh, in, at one point he said that um, his daughters were, on Christmas, they were just wanting to beat each other's score. Oh, and it's yeah. like all they would do. It's like you win. To... <laughs> you win. Oh. Oh, games are getting so cool, it's ruining my retro image of 2600. That's right. Uh, don't worry, you can always go back and play combat. Correct. Nice big chunky tanks. Firing or some Pac-Man, you know. Yeah, ori original <laughs> Pac-Man. If you want to scrape the bottom of the barrel. That's right. Um, so that is all of the best homebrew and best Batari basic homebrews. So on Friday's show, we're going to run through some of like the best graphics, best sound... 
all the other categories and cover a lot of the other games that we missed here. Um, so hopefully you guys had a lot of fun kind of watching some of the best games. Yeah, we did some speed rounds of stuff. <laughs> yeah, I mean, know. we didn't dig get into it in depth. Which is all good. And with some games, it really did it justice. Other ones, it didn't. Obviously, like, Tire Tracks is a game you can do a speed round yeah. of. You can versus, show everything. Versus, like, um, Sword of Surter is one that requires a different relationship to. Yeah, and it, like, it, it um, would take, you know, half an hour or an hour to play completely. Yeah. And and you have to do maps and all this. And then, um, uh, uh, what was the first one called again? It was... Uh, oh, Apollyon? Yeah, yeah, that's one that needs a bit of... Uh, time to sort of get into yeah and get used um, to the playing um but it's it's pretty cool to see the range of games the range of genres of platformers yeah. we've shooters we've got things that are two player we got things that are like simple in terms of deceptively simple like yeah. sheep jump and yep. like where or where like the the missiles are coming and you gotta like arc at them yep. and then you got very complicated games Dungeon with crazy two, mechanics Apollyon, sort of surter adventure games i'm glad there's a big range yeah it's quite the it's quite a bit of different ones and then of course like things like mappy that are just technically like you know, holy cow, how does this even exist? <laughs> yes, this is like out of control, out of this world. Yeah, so it's nice. It's like having the Oscars where there's a musical, a drama, a comedy. Haha, <laughs> never be a comedy. That's right. Um, um, science fiction, a horror film. There's like that many horror films yeah. ever. ever. And, and, and games nice. are, are cool because they're especially like these Atari games are just something else because you get to kind of play them and, and they're in the they can be quick little one shots yep. they can be long complicated things so and it's what you want it, it, what you're in the mood for at that yeah. time and it's a real playground like I'm, I'm it, all of these games were, were games I wouldn't mind playing again and trying to like master oh yeah and, like all oh, these are the best of the best in yeah. 2018 so congratulations to everyone who made a game in 2018. That's right, and who was nominated. And the other thing to remember, too, man, is like I was always second place in everything I've done in life. <laughs> never and first. I've, never first, and I've always been in this Come weird on. position where... Never won an award yet for no. film? Um, but it's going to happen. But the weird thing is, is I've been in these positions yeah. where like, um, in my big picture life... By never getting the thing, I've always had this energy to try to go mm. for the next bit. So if you made a game and you weren't nominated, um, in in a, in a weird way, that might give you the extra fuel, that edge to want to yeah. really kind of like Push put in a few over. more hours. And and if you are wanting, and if you think in like a big picture terms, that might produce something really beautiful. So yeah. it's one of those things where like you know, it's not to, you know, you want to award people who've done excellent work, but on another mm. level, people who maybe didn't quite get the thing that they wanted that just means you got to just step it up you got to just push harder next time and now you've got this fuel to do it sometimes getting a pat on the back is the worst thing because you're yeah. like there's nowhere else to go because i know when i watch other films it doesn't get me down about my films because they're not as good as that film yeah it inspires me to do better as Hell a filmmaker yeah. and it's like oh wow look at that technique they did or that oh that's the way they use sound or visuals in this or the way they wrote the story. I mean, all of this is applicable to games. Hell games yeah. and movies, you know, they're, they're one and the same. They're a very equal medium in terms of storytelling and the way you... Like, look at the variety that there is That's of right. these games. It's just as many variety in films. So. And, and some uh, require, like, literally you have to have the manual to yes. work. And some you can just, <laughs> just pick, pick up, up and play. Shoot there's everything. Whatever yeah. you imagine, there's a place for you. And it is one yeah. of those things where you have to just, like, um, you know, it's, a, it's an open playground. And, um, and here's a wonderful little just like package of these are games that work yep. and there's a there is definitely a formula for success inside all of these if you were to look yeah. through and and maybe riff on them or go oh what is the difference between my game and this in these ones that have been nominated and at the end of the day too it's just opinions you know yeah. it's just it's it's They're all good you know we've had yeah. and that's the tough thing about art right it's like yeah. if in a hundred meter dash someone <laughs> ran nine Fastest. point yeah. whatever seconds art is very subjective yeah and you know one person like when we're doing the nominations i'm looking at the list and it's such a variety and that's the, right and the games that ended up on the nomination list are so varied and i'm really happy that they're varied i thought it was going to be all very similar games like no, it's oh, a just, whole range it's all over the place so yeah it's, it's somebody says it's it's going to be tough to to do the voting yeah so yeah. go with you know go with the game that you that 
you know, makes you feel the best, I guess. Yeah. That it... I mean, graphics are a bit more subjective, but yeah, a bit more objective. It's like, oh, this graphics are really good, but, you know, gameplay, best homebrew, that is a very subjective. Like, That's right. What and gives you the most joy? And go with that instinct, right? Yeah. Like, whatever instinctually, you know, and whether, and you, you almost need to come up with your own metric. Like, you do. Yeah. Is it that game you would replay the most? Is yeah. it the one that was the most exciting? Is it the one that reminded you of the first time you, you know, played an Atari game? Is yeah. it the game that, for whatever reason, you're, you're on the bus and you're like, oh, I wouldn't mind playing that when I go home. Yeah. I don't know it why. It speaks to you in some way and, and to everyone it's going to be a little different that's right because i love all these games but i i get in a mood for a certain type of game i'm, I'm in the mood for another game at a different point so and it's give, no, no one really stands out that's what makes it tough and give some of those more complicated games a chance something yes. like gizzlewap something like sword of surter that um, you can't just pick up and play immediately yeah you know, read you the know, instructions go and through take it. some time with them and have some fun with them and, and, and get immersive there's going to be some games that you can like play five in one day there's gonna be some games yeah. where you got to sit down and do the for whole days thing. and days like one game Took us three days to complete. What, yeah. what was that game? Oh, that was um. Uh... Oh damn! Yeah, oh. it was an adventure game. It's not a. It was in a previous year. No, uh, I think it was on this Anguna. Anguna, yeah, that's us, right. Took us three days, three se sessions to get completely through it. But and, you know, and it's some a, will take longer. And it's a funny thing because a game like that, for example, you play it for three days and then you're kind of done with it because it's like you beat it. But then something like Tire Tracks, you, you come back again and you, you want to exit, you want to see if you can push that time like a little bit more or yeah. like Monkey King. Like, so it's interesting. It's like some, you know, what is the, the, the bang for your buck? What is the, what's, what's your taste? Yes. I mean, I'll always, I'll probably always go for an RPG because it's just my favorite <laughs> the depth. Yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm always. I've always been a guy that finds one game which is really big and just just plays one game. <laughs> it you know? just goes for it the whole time. Yeah, totally. But some people want to want to play four or five games in an evening. So it just depends on on what your yeah. approach is. Yeah, for me the RPGs. It's once in a while. It has to be that special game that I'm gonna dedicate fifty to a hundred hours. That's right. To. Usually I'm on the the medium length platformer types or the quick one off arcade style games. Those are more what i gravitate towards but you know everyone's different so uh some information so after the show we are going to go set up the voting it's not ready yet but it's going to be uh ready later in later today so check out the atari age forums um i believe it it's going to be under atari 2600 it's going to be a sub forum under atari 2600 because all these are atari 2600 games and oh also for next year we're planning to expand the award show and to include uh, a more broad oh. categories, different categories, possibly different consoles. Ooh. It might be the 2019 Homebrew Awards. Oh, wow. Instead of the Atari Awards. So it'll be a bigger scope. Well, you got to go somewhere new. You got to try yep. whatever the next thing is. Yep. Um, so voting starts today. Um, it ends on. Oh, I wish I had that handy. Um, the award show is on the 23rd of February. I think the voting ends on the 19th or 20th, somewhere around there. Don't quote me on that just yet, but the, all the details are in the forums on that. Uh, Arena Foot says, Albert is almost done with it, James. Excellent. So we've got an update from Arena Foot. The voting is almost set up, so it'll be short, done shortly after the show. So look for it, like I said, in the, in the Atari Age forums under atari 2600 sub forum there'll be a complete forum under there called 2018 atari awards and each um each category will have its own post to vote on and uh, i have all the instructions all the information in there all the the link to the roms link to the instructions link to the demos the hacks everything you need to vote and uh atari's excited for it and he's excited for the award show when we announce the winners on February 23rd. All of the co-hosts will be there. Myself will be there. Erlen. I'll be here. Tanya. Darcy. It's on a Saturday. It's at noon Pacific time. The whole crew. All whole crew is going to be there. Three Eastern, eight 
GMT. So everybody can be up for it. And there's it. nothing wrong with taking some time to try out some games and wait to vote. You there know, is. like you can have, you can make sure. Yeah, that, like, take your time. Don't vote right away. You know. Make sure you know, unless you played all the games on the list and you're like so sure. You're super solid. But even then, um, replay some Reflect. of the ones you haven't done in a while. You know, take, you know, see what, what time goes and make sure that you hit those uh, votes before um, the deadline closes. But you've February got 18th. Month. So it's midnight, 11.59.59. On February 18th, the polls close, and we cut it off, and that's the last mm. day. So you have th about three weeks. And Chive just said, uh, when I was seven, I kept my brother alive on his laser blast uh, badge run. Well, um, he took bathroom <laughs> breaks and food breaks. It was the proudest accomplishment of my wow. early childhood. Laser blast is super hard and challenging. So that's, that's awesome, Chive. Good stuff. There should be a longest in development award. <laughs> I think Knight Rider is a shoe in for that one. Oh, my God, Knight Rider. There's a thread on the forums, and it's it's hundreds of pages long. People talking about this game and development, and it's, it's actually turned into a joke. It's just like a meme at this <laughs> point. It is a meme. It's great. It's memed itself. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Zero <laughs> Epic page thread. <laughs> Epic thread it is. Um, we'll be back Friday at noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT. Um, with Darcy to play some more of the nominated games. We'll go through a lot more. Um, maybe ha another third of them. I'm not sure how many we can get through, but we'll put, be playing the next kind of categories in there. Maybe throwing some throwing some demos in there yeah, to look at. Keep as well. ripping through them because like that's we, yeah that's get through some them. fun. Boom, and, boom, boom. And if you watch the show, you can get a taste of the games and, and yeah. which ones you might want to try out yourself and which ones you get an idea. And that's why we're doing this. A little taste of each game so people can see the graphics, hear the sound, get a little taste of the gameplay so they know what they're in for. And you should. And before voting, make sure you try all the games in the category. There's usually about yeah, 10, sure. 10 to 12 games in each category. So definitely play them before you pick your favorite because you might be surprised. Yeah, you know what? We That's... get surprised all the time at these chunky graphics games. We go, oh, I don't know about this one. It's all chunky. And then the gameplay rocks your world. Or something looks like, amazing and you're like, oh, ooh, this actually to play this is in, it's, you it's know, awkward. You got both ranges, right? Yeah, it's it's all over the board. And it's, it's what, I mean, gameplay's number one for me. Yeah. I mean, if the gameplay's no good, you're not going to play it. But if the gameplay and graphics are good, then it just elevates it, you know? Hell yeah. Uh, thank you, Nathan Strum. Uh, you're very welcome. I, <clears throat> I've, I've been wanting to do this, this award show ah. <clears throat> yeah, we've been... uh, for a long time um, with uh, Brian Mathern. Um, I thought it was a great thing to celebrate all the effort and all the hard work that all of you guys in the chat and that are watching out here um, put into these games and there wasn't somewhere to celebrate that and to you know say these guys did a great job they're That's doing right. awesome and and really show off their games and talk about them a lot and that's what the show is for um, and that's what the Atari Awards <laughs> are for and I really wanted to you know celebrate everything up to it and do it in a big fashion and and get a lot of people watching it so that everybody can see what these games are all about and maybe show some people some games they've never seen before and to hand out some sweet awards that's right that's the best and thing just is have the some awards. fun you know Put on to your make it this thing that's like uh you yeah. know hopefully you can you can you know and you, you can pick up some ladies or men at the bar with your new atari like, uh, awards you know you check can just, it out uh, look oh, what i just won what's this i just oh i just found this on the on the table Oops. over here oh oh best uh, homebrew yeah i just <laughs> i made this game i don't know it's stupid we yeah <laughs> I hope I hope you guys have the stamina to stick with this for a long time. So far, so good. <laughs> yeah. There are so many games for the twenty six hundred coming out that I don't think we'll ever run out of games. Like just in the first, I think five days of two thousand nineteen, there was like a, just a, a an influx, an influx of tons of new, brand new games, and wow. they're all amazing. Well, I know part of the hope for you was that if you do the show, there can hopefully be a, a positive feedback loop. That you yep. know, obviously, you're not so egotistical to think that you're no. going to be the reason. But if this, it might, it, it at the very least, it'll make a contribution for people to try to maybe start to kind of keep making this stuff and keep this yeah. this train going. If they know there's a show that can be played on, and... because I see in the forums all the time, somebody posts a game, 
and they don't get a lot of feedback sometimes and they get dismayed yeah and then i and then sometimes i've shown it on the show and i say and i put it up in the forums or we're going to play this on the show and then people see it and they go back and play it and they're like oh i never heard about this because you know it it bypassed somebody's radar um so the more outlets hush we got oh spam yeah. went straight to voicemail <laughs> uh the more outlets there are for these games i think the more people will play them and the more people will develop them so it's a really it all feeds into itself and i think it's positive shut shut it and it's a direct thing right it's n- spam it's, it's nice to be able to like immediately see the game being played i mean yeah i'm at a place right. in my life where like i can't write these big long forum posts these massive like reviews of anything although mm, you'd have a yes. lot to say it's nice to be able to just set up a camera film someone playing just go for it just watch it and you can play it and talk about it and have this whole thing yeah because some of these uh game developers are really good at games but they're not good at say recording their show recording their videos because we have it all set up we're going through a frame meister at 60 frames a second yeah it's a whole operation. and we talk about the show we play it and you can see it and you can see the interaction and i post it for people to watch the videos and i put the video underneath the development thread in the game development so people go right to it see the game immediately and be able to give feedback even if they aren't able to play it right away absolutely and maybe it'll yeah stripes of terror like pff, crazy <laughs> <laughs> um yeah and arena foot's already started the 2019 list for next Perfect. year's award show so that's exciting anyway i gotta get off the stream so you guys can start voting that's right the sooner, sooner i get off the sooner you can start voting but don't vote right away make sure Take you check time. out the games first that's right so thanks for tuning in i'll see you on friday thanks to everybody and i'll see you next wednesday the chat um let's take a look and say some cool names oh it's gone from there uh like arena foot dan avc thrust 26 nathan strom and paler 26 carl, carl g, g muddy funster chive and then it scrolled back uh nathan strom i think i said that already uh uh dan uh, dan vc jared gray west um, um dr oh, clue definitely more um you uh, know uh, uh al from yeah. atari age muddy funster Thrust 26. Uh, Dr. Clue. I mean, I think we've <laughs> already repeating. said we were repeating. We're just... MK Smith AU. So, uh, 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 something 26. <laughs> <laughs> that covers a lot of people. Uh, anyway, it's resetting and the chat's really annoying. Um, so thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll see you next time. Sounds good. On Zero Page. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.